That's pure gaping. Good, uh, Jude. Good. Sounds sounds Scottish. Good to go, but Jude. <laughs> good Jude. We're all good. Good Jude. Good That's Jude. our wee phrase before we start. Is this? Welcome, Michael. Thank you. Oh, wait, Hi, again. Michael. Is like again? Welcome back. No, <laughs> we're, we are actually live now. Okay. We're live about ten minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be interested in what we cut out there. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> hopefully everything. <laughs> Mara felt not be best, please. No. no. Or the Chinese anyway. is in it. Welcome, Michael. I think we break for that. Should we uh, should we talk about why we're eating a Chinese or? Oh, um, <laughs> Michael, you you'd be fond of another Chinese, wouldn't you? <laughs> I do. I do like some Chinese's. Yes. Tell me this. Let's chat this about the prawn crackers. I fucking leave. Like I will. I leave now. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you start bringing this up again? Like. About what? I'm furious. <laughs> <laughs> the prawn crackers. So the prawn crackers. I we put that up on a poll. Did you see it the other night? I did. Yeah. Um, I'll actually pop it up here. So. John, remember to put that up. The baby graphic here. And I'll actually say, I actually, there was actually people that thought they needed to pay for, pro, for prawn crackers. No. Like there was a percentage of people and I think that they, by an accident, pressed um, the wrong choice. And I hope that's what they did. Cracker. Really, <laughs> Let's open up. We get a wee prawn cracker. <laughs> I, actually, I actually said, I made sure I said to the, I said to the girl, oh, by the way, bamboo, these are supposed to be open today. Um, are they Anya's, supposed to be? Anya's aren't. Yeah, yeah, I googled it. I can't understand why they Googled it, rang it, and then I pulled up to the front of it and looked in, and there was someone there. And I was kind of like, you know, those make those wee notions, you're like, <laughs> and they're like, <laughs> and I was like, then why is it on Google? Like, you're open, you know what I mean? So, um, how, did you, how did you meme that? Why is it on Google? <laughs> <laughs> why the fuck is it on Google? <laughs> Anyway, here, take um, a wee prong cracker. I went, make to, it better. I went to Golden Gate instead. Um, Golden Gate! Golden Gate! Bra, 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 bra. Representing. <laughs> Golden, Gate, Golden Gate was on the poll as well. I, I think it scored quite well, too, to be fair. Golden it's got Gate his loyal did. fans. Um, yep. you, did you get prong crackers? Oh, no, no. Ah, you did, good. Um, oh, fuck. Um, but I made sure to ask her, you know, the, pr- the prong crackers included, and then she, like, she checked how much it was. Obviously. Like, yes. Yeah. No, but I just I wanted to make sure because. I couldn't, in good conscience, come here and lie to you that I'd I had I was going to be charged by prog crackers. I honestly wouldn't add it. I wouldn't add <laughs> no. any of it. No. None of it. I'd be like tainted. Uh-huh. I don't. Like I still tainted. don't get why there's carrots in here. the. Is there much difference in prawn crackers? Because you get these like discs. You get them like they're like we. They're oh. like we hats. You oh, know. They're bought in. They're yeah, bought no, in. no, I know they probably are, but there's also some Chinese that they're very like crinkly and wrinkly, and they're all you know. They're oh, still, they're still decent. I still eat them, but I would probably prefer the other type. But them other ones would be fresh made, are they not? Uh, must be because they like they kind of like they like shrink up and they uh. must be dropped. They must like drop <laughs> drop it into whatever the way they fry them or cook uh, them. but they lose the will to live in your curry sauce. Get <laughs> what? They they just immediately like you put them in the curry sauce, they just disappear. Ah. Uh. There's no willpower. They turn into like a wee slither thing. Like. Uh, mm. It's like a digestive into a cup of tea. Yeah, it's gone. That's you know? so true. I dangerous. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, what are we doing John here? Oh, I podcast. That is a wee bit of a rascal there. No? Uh, we are just see, eating. Let me see. Oh, Sorry, I just I'm having a wee yemen. Checking my website here. No, I'm looking. Oh. And I'm not mad about it. About what? I'm not angry about this. This is fucking. No, we, mind we said we were go- we were actually going to do this before, um, but it wasn't just going to be a Chinese. We were actually. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude, 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 or the mega menu for them and everybody yeah. enjoy their mega menu and like discuss that's it. That's a great idea. I, I really like that. We'll do that at some stage. We'll bring you back on, we'll do that. Uh, yeah, I'm free that day actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Christmas Day. Are you ready for, are you ready for another one? one eh? oh, mm-hmm. People at home are going to be so annoyed. But yeah. there was, do you know actually, I, I was listening to your episode again today, I was like just flying through it a wee bit and I used to put, or I still put the odd time sound effects into the episode and there was a mega menu. Um, whenever I goes, you know, here's the mega menu. Cue the music. Remember mm-hmm. we used to do that. Yeah. Well, there was a sound I put in, and do you know Ryan Dehan? Yeah. Ryan Dehan was so fucking pissed off with it because it was like, um, it was something like, here it is, the Marafelt mega menu, and then there was like, oh, oh, he hated it. Oh. No, but I found the sound online. It was far too loud. And it was like really, really aggressive, <laughs> and it hurt his ears. And he actually wrote under the, he actually 
like you know you leave comments under Spotify things uh-huh. and videos he wrote under it please delete the sound effect <laughs> please delete the sound effect and why, from you, why do you not use it anymore because look he didn't like it he didn't like it so because Ryan Dehan didn't like it that's but I also agreed with him because <laughs> sometimes I like to I don't know like when I picked the sound I was like that's a bit loud but you know what fuck it let's see what happens to see mm-hmm. if anybody complains about it and trigger he someone and I kind of like playing games with the, you know, I kind of like playing because there was an episode we did there with Mark McCartney, the comedian, mm-hmm. and I said, "Oh, you know, I'm going to put in, I'm going to put sound effects into this," and I didn't, and I just thought ah, that's kind of funny, like because people are waiting for them and they didn't happen. <laughs> so so it's just, it just says, it just says, cue the music, and there's no. It home. wasn't a joke. It was just for like you know, uh, I'm just going to leave that out for the crack. Um, <laughs> such a wee internet troll I know it was a wee troll like, <laughs> I'm just waiting for people to go where's the sound effect like fuck off um, <laughs> so Ryan wrote actually remove the eating noises from the mega menu um, that was his comment anyway welcome back Thank Michael you. welcome um, Michael you're, you're a part of a very exclusive club I suppose twice you know, twice we've mm-hmm. had a few thrices but very very few um, and those thrices were were twices has Keith Bigger been on He's been on twice, but I don't think we should count him as a, a second guest. No, I don't think we should count him. Because he was just, more of a wee side yeah. other, He was a wee bit of a side I mean, cart, it was, wasn't a, it was all about Alex. <laughs> he tried to actually take over the podcast one stage. I was like, no, yeah. KB, no. I mean, it, it's Fergal's podcast at the end of the it's day. It's Fergal's <laughs> podcast. Yeah. This is what, what the fans I'm, are here for. <laughs> and he, he's, he's my handler. Um, anyway, Did welcome. the KB thing catch on? KB thing didn't catch on. That's, um, no? No, I don't think so. We'll, we'll, we'll still try. Ho- we'll still try. Thanks, KB. Um, have you listened to the podcast since? Uh-huh. I do, uh, fairly religiously. Who, who do, oh, it's, it's good to hear, because Fergal puts a lot of effort into this and he needs people, <laughs> you know, listening. Please help. <laughs> <laughs> any any st- standout I, I really, I said that to you whenever I arrived there, I really enjoyed the last one you did with Aye. Alex and Keith. Yeah. Mostly Alex mm. um, and Fergal. <laughs> um, and not so much Keith. Um, yeah. But no, I, I did, I really enjoyed it. Um, I always enjoyed Sammy, the pies. Uh, Sammy's his class. He's, he's right. well. I'm just too scared to say if I didn't enjoy it in case yeah, he like, yeah, kills yeah. me. In case he shows up at your house. <laughs> yeah, Robocop. Much. Uh, yeah. We're bringing him on again. Right, he'd be. Is that a twice or a three? I'll be his twice. Twice. I'll be his twice. So I'm ahead of Sammy. Yeah, yeah. You actually are ahead of Sammy. <laughs> Sorry, Sammy. <laughs> don't, don't, hurt. Don't, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Do you know he actually listens quite regularly as well? Like he was telling me. Uh, he's a um, good man for the, Well if you're running 700 miles like <laughs> plenty of time to, to listen to a podcast to fucking listen yeah. to it. Like, We should make a, a podcast Just for Sammy Just for Sometime. Sammy and Just me and you talking Fuck Sammy You're a well lad <laughs> Keep, on, Sammy. Keep going <laughs> you're, oh, you're lovely Sammy Keep going lad Keep going lad And then you just going Go on Go on Go on <laughs> Blue pipes <laughs> You're coming to a gradient here lad <laughs> <laughs> You're coming to a gradient Just fucking climb her Sammy No uh, Anyway We're going to do a quick fire Michael, um, I don't know if you're expecting this or not. No, the plates can down. Uh, here, you fucking finished that. What? No, I'm still to me. Jesus. Still me. Check. I left two over there for you. Oh, did you? Aye, you did. I need to grab that in a minute. Ah, we'll go and get that. <laughs> anyway. Very um, so spicy. Can we start a timer in this quick fire? Because I think our last quick fire took about four hours. As quick as you. <laughs> as quick as you. I don't think we ever got out of it. No, <laughs> we're still there. <laughs> this is an ongoing the quick process. Fire is supposed to, like, your origin story is supposed to be quick. It's like, where are you from? Marvel. Didn't work. Um, Mar- anyway, Mar- quick Mar- fire. Mar- you ready? You from? Mar- <laughs> <Any more? laughs> Banana or apple? Apple. Orange or green? What? I've never eaten a green. <laughs> <laughs> you never eat your greens. I would say, yeah, I would say. I would say like a food round instead of a quick fire. You went straight from like fruits it's and then continued with it's an not, orange. It's not a fruit. It's okay. not a fruit fire. <laughs> green. Greens. <laughs> Probably the best. <laughs> Blonde or brunette? Uh, brunette's like a brown, isn't it? Aye. Yeah, brunette. Probably the <laughs> best. Uh, vinegar or salt? Yeah, both. No, you have to pick one. No. No! <laughs> <laughs> please, please, please pick one or we can't move on. S- salt. Salt. And vinegar. Very salty. Vinegar. Like, you are a bit salty, to be fair. Like. Uh, Bill or Ben? Um, Bill. Bill. Ah. Uh, soccer or football? What? <laughs> Soccer or football? What's it called? No, which one? Pick oh, one. This is a religious thing. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. This is a religious it's thing. It's not a religious I'm thing. I'm not having it. I'm not having Are it. Are you refusing to pick it? Are you talking about American football? If you want, though. Against soccer? Whatever you want. Okay, we'll go with American football. American football. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry trifle 
or Pavlova? Oh, is there is there an occasion? Um, Christmas. Easter. Christmas. Christmas. Trifle. Tri- yeah. Why? I don't know. I, so, I really thought you were going to say Easter. To be honest, <laughs> uh, I was, Easter's not really an occasion, is it? Well, okay, Christmas. Christmas, Christmas. is trifle. Sherry trifle. Sherry trifle. Yeah. Love a wee trifle. Uh, Banoffee or apple tart. Oh, that's a tough one. Oh, that's a tough one. Is there custard? Uh, uh, what is the side? Oh, shit. Uh, Banoffee, apple tart. Um, I'll give you ice cream, custard, fresh cream. Oh, apple pie, proper custard. It was apple tart, but I'll allow it. Oh, um, oh no, I've been off it. Black or white? <laughs> uh, black or white pudding? Black pudding. Black yeah. pudding. Yeah. Three people to invite to your final dinner table, living or dead? Oh, Fergal. Yes! <laughs> That's a high fucking praise there. Three times. <laughs> <laughs> Three separate occasions. <laughs> no, new rule not allowed Fergal or Jude or me. <laughs> well, not I'm, I'm really annoyed about Fergal. <laughs> Uh, alive or dead um, That's tough It's kind of like Who would you be like I'd love to have a conversation with them I, I'd actually I'd like the Like the original cast Of A League of Their Own So like Freddie Flintoff James Corden mm. And then I might throw in Gordon Ramsay Just for balance You say James Corden I like James Corden I am a fan I know it's an unpopular decision <laughs> It is an unpopular thing. Lad. He's, uh, Well he was impolite In a restaurant one time But he's coming to my house He'd be lovely <laughs> He's, he's like been to your house. house Yeah and I'm going to have Gino DeCampo cooking So that oh, Gordon Ramsay's in top form That's a good Brilliant. idea We need to add that to the podcast What's that? Three people living or dead and who's, who, cooking? who's your chef? Pat and Pendon Hold it Thank that's you That's fucking great Yeah that's, that's mine That's a great idea That's You'll, mine yeah, I want no. a pound every time that's used. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, how much do you think we're making? <laughs> Fuck. Um, name three jungle cats. Lion. Yep. Tiger. Yep. Puma. I've got Puma here. It's maybe right though. Uh, well, um, your your li- your list is right. wrong. Yeah. Is right? <laughs> <laughs> Was there not a Puma in uh, Northern Ireland? Like Dungannon. Dungannon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was a Puma. No, there wasn't. Je- we need to get it. It was a big black cat. No, it was a puma. Like supposedly, so it's escaped from a circus. I was always frightened of that he, story. Uh, I'm scared. This story. <laughs> so this actually is a thing. Uh, he told the story. Uh, uh, supposedly, it is like a rumor, but I th- I think it's real. But <laughs> you tell the story there about you and the puma. This <laughs> <laughs> is he told this in a lot. No, I just whenever I was younger and I would walk home from my mate's house. Mm. <laughs> I would always make him walk me halfway, <laughs> and then full I would, way, lad. Not the full way. You have a very, well, bra- very brave friend. <laughs> well, he didn't give a fuck, and I was like, <laughs> "Is this why you started running?" <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking. It might be. It it's why he started getting his mad left him. <laughs> <laughs> walk you halfway, and your mom sitting around the corner, <laughs> exactly with the car. <laughs> Did you ever see the puma? No, like it was just a rumor that goes around the saying that there's there was a wild cat in the list. Supposedly there was a cat or some sort of large cat animal, whatever, escaped from a f- um, one of those Duffy circuses right. in Northern Ireland. And uh-huh. was, yeah, do you guys like cats in general? Like I'm cats. not fussed on cats. Like, like I like cats as an animal to to live with me. Mm, maybe they're all right, but just in general, nah, like. You need you need a now loyal dog or, or a loyal animal that you know will come back. The cat will fuck off. Or See, I'd, I'd like a cat outside that Aye. occasionally comes up and is like, yeah, yeah, acknowledges bit you. Of purin, bit of puss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> Amy, Amy fucking hates cats. Like, yeah, hates cats. I'm not a fan. I don't hate them. I just I'm not fussed on them. Some cats, we you ever see them? Are they like a mink or something? Or mink? I no hair. Aye. Aye. no hair. Oh. Weird as fuck. Yeah, you have a really strange like car there at the side of your. There was carrots. That's what I was saying. There was carrots in mine. <laughs> it's, like it's, it's one of those like it looks like a tin cart. I, I did actually, I, like I did. I didn't hit did it. See that? Uh, oh, yeah, it's like a crinkle cut cart. Golden Gate, explain yourselves, please. Right in. That's so weird. Let us know about this carrot. Uh-huh. Are you I gonna had, eat that cart? I had numerous this carrots. Is a veg- this is a vegetarian half and half. I must grab one of them chicken balls. I don't think I have any meat in this plate. To be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> you I just realised that. Here, look at that. Have you any there? Here there you go. There's one there. A wee bit of curry sauce. Still one. A wee nah, bit of curry right, right, right. Here, did you ever get a Chinese with curry and gravy? No. As I so no. used to get a, weird. Used to get a no, not, Used to get a, a half and half. Used to get like a half and half years ago. I'm pretty like, sure they're talking about the rice and chips there. A bit of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of chicken. And I used to get something chicken with it, and then I used to get Singapore curry from Golden Gate and just pour it on it. Mate. Is that Singapore? Sure. 
No, it's not. It is. Uh, <laughs> you ordered it. Let me taste it. That's not Singapore, though. No, How it's ordinary curry. Let me see what it's like. You mind me dip my finger in or No, you work away. Ah, you're lovely. No, it's not the same. But it's still, it's still nice. <laughs> there's a bit of spice off it. But there's a Singapore it's curry. spicy enough. We chat it. about all the time. I, I was part of that conversation Were one you? time. Yeah, yeah. Episode so Fergal's, 32, I think Fergal was. was there watching the fucking like, process of it. It's literally just like curry... UV spices and then a brick of butter, isn't it? Just uh, it's a lot of garlic, a lot of butter. Uh, just, that's, just, that's two wonderful things. That's awesome. That's I most mean. of my insights. <laughs> I can understand why it's nice. Um, name three film monkeys. What three film fuck? monkeys? Yeah. Oh, this is, sorry, jungle related. Sorry, everybody. Sorry. Michael, oh, anybody that doesn't know, Michael um, uh, is, is uh, an advocate of, of the local jungle NI. You could have gone so much, like Michael was raised in the Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he were, how many years have you been in the jungle? Uh... Ten with a one year gap. There you go. Savage, you, they let you out for a year. I, I, I got, a, I got a degree and then went to like I have to use year? a degree. And Jesus then I literally did one year and was like, nah, that's, that's a shit. So. Homeschooled in the jungle. Yeah. Uh, so name three film monkeys. So is like they have to be a monkey or is it like like um, is King Kong's a gorilla so he's not a monkey? Is it like a primate? Uh, yeah. Are you gonna allow okay. King Kong? Yeah, monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking no! Aye, King Kong's grand lad. That's Dunst, Dunstan checks in. Do you ever Did watch you Dunstan? Do you know if, if yeah. King Kong's a monkey? He's a gorilla. Yeah. But is a, that mon- a monkey? But a, a monkey is no, a subspecies of primate. primate. Right, that doesn't count then. Oh I don't. A monkey's a monkey. A primate's a primate. No, a primate yeah. is, the, is the umbrella of, yeah. of a species, yeah. I suppose. And then there's monkeys and chimpanzees and all. That. So it's monkeys. Abu from Aladdin. Correct. Okay. You, another one. It's not going to be in your list. Dunstan checks in. Dunstan. Not, but is he good, not he a lived, chimp? It, uh, like, it's a monkey. I, I, I actually nice. didn't realise how that's, much I knew about monkeys until I did this. I don't think you know anything about <laughs> <laughs> I, I, do you think Dust, I think Dustin was a chimp. Is that I a think that's a fucking monkey! Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> John! Oh, anyway, correct. Curious George? Uh, I haven't got it. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, that's yes, a great answer. He's a monkey, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, he is. is this podcast going well? <laughs> I don't know, I can't see. Is it even going? Is. is it working? Dude's giving us the thumbs up. <laughs> anyway, continue. Um, I don't care. You've either. won more. If anybody wants to pitch in as well there, please. Uh, that's tough. That's tough, especially with your vast knowledge of what's, what is and isn't a monkey. Uh, hey, hey, with the monkey. My brain, my, my mind's gone a blank. I mean, the George of the Jungle, no, they were gorillas, weren't they? George was a show. <laughs> What? George is a human being. Aye, but there was, there was monkeys. Were monkeys. Were girls. Girls. Yeah, they, they were, were gorillas. Similar to you, the way you grew up. Uh, in the rainforest, yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, fuck. You need Dora the Explorer. Dora the Explorer? Did you Explorer? Did you she, has, she has a wee monkey. Uh, I don't does know. she? I she does. Uh, you're right. Do you I don't know, know what the Spanish word for name? monkey. Well, I could just make it up. You don't know. Uh, <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> that's, not way, that's not the way a quiz works. Like his name's Jeffrey. <laughs> my name is Jeff. My, my name is Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Dora. Uh, no, continue. I don't. I don't know a third. Mon- Aladdin. Right. Aladdin had Abu in a few movies. I think. <laughs> oh, don't start this shit. Like, don't not start sequels. sequels. I fucking hate people doing that. Yeah, you do. Right, go um, ahead. Give us some. Uh, Rafiki. Uh, he's a baboon. You can fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> not, no, having no. It. not having it. He, c- he classifies as a monkey. I checked. It's 2024. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, he is he uh, Marcel from uh, Friends. Yeah. Do you remember Marcel? I do. Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, Caesar from Planet of the Apes. Yes. Oh, we could have just went Planet of the Apes 1, 2. Are they? <laughs> he, the whole cast right? of Planet of the Apes. <laughs> What's. Uh, no, I was thinking of Madagascar, but they're lemurs, are they? Aye, uh, they are lemurs. King Julian. Oh, uh, yeah. King Julian, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, um, fantastic. So great round, John. Very did good. you enjoy that? Oh, I did. Yeah, <laughs> I definitely should have been the person you know coordinating that. To be honest with you, um, <laughs> name name three jungle themed films. Tarzan. Um, yep. George of the Jungle. Yep, that's very good. And Madagascar. Um, great. great answers. Yeah. They're in a. Jungle. <laughs> <laughs> Are they not in a rainforest, though? <laughs> no, they're not. They're in Madagascar. That's a jungle. That's a jungle, is yeah. it not? It's a rainforest, not a jungle. Hi. 
<laughs> True. It, it didn't rain in the whole movie. Fuck, I don't think any, any one of us has come across well in this podcast. Right, so... Maybe Jude. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> like, you can't hear him. He's on mic. He's just laughing at um, us. So oh, other sorry. other films that could have been where you said Tarzan is Jungle Book that's been an obvious one you missed. Well, that's that a one. rainforest. <laughs> <laughs> the rain, the rainforest book. The, it's not as exciting. That was actually <laughs> it just rained the whole and it just the animation was just raining and they're like this is fucking shit lads. That was filmed Fuck, in, in a scarring, you know. <laughs> in a scarring, in a scarring, yeah. <laughs> um, so there was Predator. It was, in, mm. it was in a jungle. Surely that's a rainforest. No, nope, it rained not. the whole movie. No, it was a jungle. It uh, Anaconda. Oh well, yeah, okay. That was definitely a rainforest. Yeah, um, sure. Jumanji. Jumanji. A wee bit of it was set in the jungle, obviously. Oh, and then... uh, so as long as a wee bit's set. <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> that's a forest, you fucker. That was a dark forest, you cunt. Um, Kong Skull Island it says here as well. I swear I, I like Kong for this round. All the, the, all the Kongs. Kongs. Right. Did you ever see Mighty Joe Young when you were younger? Yes, it was no. brilliant. Mighty Joe Young. Do you mind? Well, he was a big massive ape. Massive yeah. fucking uh-huh. he was He was a real one though, wasn't he? No. No? No, he was like, he was computer generated but it, and then they they just like had him and then they just made him massive right beside your doll. That's a good idea, that. That's a good idea. Can, Can you, you make him bigger? How good are you? Could you just do that with me? Could <laughs> we could. Three times the size of you guys. There's actually the... Um, the, the, what do you call it? The sofa's green. We could actually do a wee bit of green screen there. Yeah, this this so is like a, a four seater sofa, sit, actually. We could have you sitting in a rainforest. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. We should get a green screen so we could do it. Aye, it'd be good. Oh, shit. Sorry, I need to keep the branding up. Um, jungle jokes. <clears throat> <laughs> there's nothing here for you to do. This is just jokes. Okay. Just laugh. Uh, no, there's, there's, we're coming up to a food round after this. I don't know if you're going to laugh. Why did the monkey fall out of the tree? Because he had no arms. Don't know. <laughs> That's a good answer. Uh, it was dead. Um, <laughs> why, why, why shouldn't you play games in the jungle? Dangerous. Don't know. Because there are cheetahs. Uh, uh, very good. Why shouldn't you trust the king of the jungle? King Julian. <laughs> He's always lying. Oh. Uh, yeah. What happens when a tiger eats a lemon? He becomes better. He's a sour puss. No. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Now you're, now you're talking. Uh, food round, Michael. Continue. Um, death row meal. So I actually listened to your last podcast. You did Marfalt Mega Menu. Yeah. What is your final meal? You're going to the electric chair. Do you want to start? Why, really why, going why to the, the chair? Why not injection? Because death row, well, you get injection you want. Whatever you prefer. No, I don't like needles, actually. Uh, <laughs> well, maybe go for the chair. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll stick with the chair. <laughs> stick with the chair. Uh, I, I have been electrocuted so many times, actually. Um, you survived that? You have? Shit, oh, you? So many times. Like, Fright Night set up electric <laughs> so many times. Aye, the early days, not recently. <laughs> 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 I think I got a shock at least four times in the setup this year. You're a part. You're a part of the attraction. Yeah, oh, it's horrible. There's one of the lights, but I never fix it any year because some of the actors that work in it they have to press the button. Uh, <laughs> I just stand in the dark watching them. I, well, is that slavery? Is that slavery? Like keeping them awake during their shift? Uh, something like that. It keeps them on their toes anyway. Okay. So give us your death row meal. Um, Starter main dessert. Like you know. Whatever you want. Can I I find I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. You know, house you. I'm not gonna. You know, cage you in this meal. Do whatever you want. So there what is want? there is a boy on Instagram who actually makes death mm. row meals. You seen him? And he'll it's go through like all brilliant. the serial killers. Yeah. And what they ordered for some their of last them are meal. Weird, aren't some they? Some of them are real messed that up. That is weird. Yeah, but, but it, I really want to look that up. Some of them. Oh, are so good we need to bring that up as a round. Or they're so well made videos, aren't they? They're he, fantastic. He's brilliant. He's some cook too. He is. Yeah. Very good. Anywho. Um. So I would have... What am I being killed for? <laughs> what? Did it, was it guilty? I don't really want to talk about it. Like, <laughs> well, like, I don't want... I, don't want, it's I feel like bad. if I was not guilty, I'd really take the piss with it. But triple, if I was guilty... Triple it, homicide. Oof. Intentional. Uh, Think about it as yes. well. <sighs> yeah. You're a serial killer across state lines in America. Right. Think about the clean-up afterwards as well. Just, you hunted brunettes. <laughs> that was your MO. That was your MO. <laughs> <laughs> and you put pennies in their eyes. As a, as a tribal thing. So what's my serial killer name? Uh, the Penny Killer. The Penny Killer? Pennywise. 
Pennywise, I love it. That's I chicken. love it. Pennywise, uh, the brunette killer. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna have seafood in there somewhere. I think I'm gonna have it early. Seafood. Yeah, like I love like you know prawns and stuff. Oh, battered prawns. They nice. you ever nice. go to Tades up your neck of the woods originally? Yeah. They do we um, like salt and chili prawns. Oh yeah, real light tempera heard, batter. Where's Tides oh. up? Halfway between Port Rush and Port Stewart. Right along that okay. coast road. Closer hey, to I have closer heard of Port it. Stewart. Right it's right not the Italian place, is it? No, no that's that's a meat. Yeah, Tides right. sounds like a fish place. To be honest with you. They do do fish. Uh, <laughs> uh, they're actually on the edge of the ocean. No, he said Italian, <laughs> and I was. There is an Italian place, though, and I was correcting him. And then you're making me look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it was called Tides because it's beside the sea, John. <laughs> That's why I go. It sounds like a fish place. He said before me it was an Italian place. <laughs> I was it sounds like a fish place. But there is an Italian place. Me getting fucking shipped for it. <laughs> anyway. Um, wow, you got yes. very cross. So I'd have like a nice big bowl of them salt and chili prawns, like nice. lightly battered ones. Yep. But I'm also going to have a deep fi- fried brie beside it. Oh, what are you prawns. dipping in that? Are you dipping the prawns in that? I actually had, brie. whenever I was in Italy, in Rome, I had a pomegranate um, glaze with it. I was oh. unbelievable. Unbelievable. Sounds deadly. It was really good. They always put like a, like some sort of berry with, with, with a, aye, I was going to say yeah. cranberry, with a brie, don't they? Yeah. That'd be lovely. Yeah. Pomegranate would be good. Pomegranate oh was good, it was sweet, and, sweet and tangy, mm. lovely. I'll take you out there sometime. I do. Yeah, do. circle. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> He's going to an Italian. <laughs> so I would have that, but am I allowed to dictate how long I have between each one? Because I want to wait an hour before I have my main. Um, yeah. Fuck, they're going to kill me, one. It's okay. Aye, right, well, listen, like, take your time. Uh, me and Corson. Uh, sorry, you've got 24 hours, right? Okay. 24 hours, right. Me and Corson, <laughs> I'm having a steak. Uh, yeah. oh, see, what, type? The what type of steak are you having? Uh, I want to see the steaks and then choose it. Well, give, oh, come on, you can't do that. I, 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 but I don't have like steaks here. You ever in Seoul Seafood in Dublin? No. You can choose your steak there. I well, this isn't Seoul fucking seafood. Like. What? Well, uh, it's whatever I fucking want. Ah, I you said this you here. just said we weren't going to like throw them in. Are oh, you just saying you're not going to pick the steak? I am picking the steak. All oh, right, okay. But I'm picking the steak when I see the steaks. But I don't I have want the steaks a, here. To I want pick. a platter out, and I'm going to say I want that one. Is there going to be what a selection? Of, what type of steak? Is there going to be a selection of cuts there? On the table. What cut? Yeah, a selection of cuts. What cut do you want? I want a selection of cuts. <laughs> I can, want to choose Can it. I give you hypothetical cuts? Okay. Do you pick them? Uh-huh. Tomahawk. Right. Sirloin. Uh-huh. Fillet. What T-bone. end of the sirloin is it cut from? What? What end of the sirloin is it cut from? The fatty uh, end back. of the... Back. <laughs> 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 the fatty end. Uh, no, the other side. The lean end. Aye, <laughs> the lean end. Right, okay. What, what was it? Sirloin. Lean sirloin. Okay, how are you having it? Me? No, I'm having a fillet. I just want to know what end of the <laughs> sirloin you were cutting it from. But you do, you get good and bad sirloins. Like, you get good and bad sirloins. Pick. And to say it, like, if I was in a restaurant and they had four or five different steaks, I would have a look around the restaurant before I ordered my steak, mm-hmm. see what they're eating. Yeah. You worked in the butchers, didn't you? Uh-huh. For a long time. Yeah. That's how you Fussy, know. fussy about my meat. Mm. Uh, have a notice. And they wouldn't give me a tomahawk because I could use the bone as a weapon. <laughs> like no. in that movie, what do you call it? Shawshank. <laughs> no, I'm Shank, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a fucking good guest. <laughs> it is a good guest. Yeah. Yeah. Right, what, are you having any sides with your steak? I'm having all the sides. I want onion rings. I, yeah, like, I want mash. Probably have to limit I also it. want triple cooked chips. Nice. I want pepper sauce. You have all, all the potatoes. All the potatoes. Peppered. Peppered sauce, yeah. Made with proper decent whiskey. Like a, I want like a 21 year old. Red is, that, is it pepper sauce not a pepper sauce and then you mentioned whiskey there does that not go into a different type of sauce no well I make my pepper sauce with whiskey in it right okay you can make it with brandy in it right yeah. okay that would be a brandy and peppercorn sauce right okay yep I'm yeah. not trying to catch you out here by the way I'm just asking no so you, you would put your onions and stuff in then you pour your whiskey in and then you start the fire that's what makes the real fancy videos mm-hmm. um, and then that burns the alcohol off it again so you don't get drunk from your pepper right. sauce that's right. why I don't light it on fire and then you don't light it on fire <laughs> <laughs> he winked there by the way that was just for you <laughs> um, yeah that's probably enough on the sides and I want to fill it like I want to I fill it and I want to fill it are you proper. are you not having any veg with that no uh, roast honey roast carrots Nice. A wee bit of tender stem broccoli, cooking garlic. Oh, what about asparagus? Do you like that? 
if it's good asparagus, asparagus can make or break your diet. Ah, it can be it shit. Can it smell as well. Well, it's not going to matter to him. I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be more than pee coming out of me whenever I sit in that chair. Do you know what we did? We, was, we asked uh, Mark McCarney, and he was saying <laughs> he was saying he would actually be a lot like nicer to the to the people who have to clean up after. So he was like, I'll probably have a cup of tea and a biscuit. You know, because there's a bit of an aftermath, you know, the amount you eat. Because most serial killers have a real conscience. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the deaths. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to fill up for this execution. <laughs> anyway. And I think I'm there. I think I'm there. Oh, tobacco onions too. Nice. Tobacco, onions. tobacco onions. And I'll only need like two onion rings. I'm not going to be a greedy boss. Two onion rings. Yeah. Uh, two onion rings. I would have more. I mean, you know, I've also got chips and mash and Aye. tobacco onions. It's not my meat. You know, it's fine. We, I'm not going to take it with me. Um, <laughs> dessert? <laughs> dessert. I'm in the notion for an apple pie now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Proper custard. Uh, maybe a wee bit of ice cream too if there's yeah. part of me. I like the mix. Do you not like crumble? I like crumble. I do like a good crumble. Do you like it better than an apple pie? <sighs> Which do you prefer, John? I think I'm a crumble guy, to be honest. I've liked apple tart a lot of my life, and then the crumble came along, and they were throwing blueberries and stuff into it. And but I you like, can't. I enjoy how do you serve it? You just have to scoop so it. Well, you serve it in a bowl, and then you put the custard over it. Uh, and then you eat it, and then the custard warms it again, and you burn your fucking mouth. But it's, lovely. Uh, it's great, doesn't it? That's lethal. That's a wee Sunday afternoon there, isn't uh, it? But I like, the, I like okay. an apple pie to be like a, you know, a just slice. A nice, nice sausalies, like yeah, a really yeah. good, a big, th- probably like a thick cut. Oh, too. lethal! Like just see the apple. apple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I'm picturing that there. The do you like your apples like sliced in that, or what, uh, do you like more of a like a mushy sort of the the apple part? I like I like to know there's a wee bit of apple in it. Aye, you like aye. a wee bit of crunch. Yeah, I like the old time when you when you taste a wee bit of the the peel or the the skin on it. What are you about to eat there? Oh, it's a chip. It's good. Cheers, go get. Um, so I, 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 I like that. I like that. You could do a wee we bit. You s- skim the old time, just uh, hiding in it. Yeah. Did you ever get a pound? Sorry, not a pound. Did you ever get fifty p in it at uh, Halloween? Yeah. Oh, yes, we did that. Yeah. Yeah. Used, yeah. My granny used to do that. We used to get one the Christmas pudding too. Remember just giving my uncle the Heimlich one year, just he was just fucking <laughs> joking on <around> fifty p. <laughs> <laughs> he won though. Uh, he fucking got it. I. He, he said it was worth it. <laughs> um, <laughs> so is that you then? You did a bit of seafood at the start, then That's you me. did. Can I have a cheese board and a glass of wine after? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Fucking right. You're coming. Just you'll a glass. Be there. Well, just a glass. We're on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I want six bottles of wine. Day, <laughs> <laughs> lad. I, w- I would say, yeah. If they left me in ten bottles, I wouldn't need the chair. <laughs> yeah. I'd go out my own terms. But imagine, like they're going to serve that in a plastic glass. It's going to like it's ruining everything. Tell us about the wine. What type of wine would you have? Uh, either or. It depends what you're eating. Mm. You know, well, you're you, in the you know now what you're you know what you're eating. What oh, you're yeah. red then. Well, I, well, I'm having white with the first course and red with main. Oh yeah, right enough. You know, and then I'll go back to the white, and right then I'll finish with the whiskey. You have a as dessert well. wine, no? Finish with I'm not a big fan of dessert wine. Are you not? Very sweet. I Very fucking sweet. love it. Is dessert wine not usually like a Chardonnay or something like that? Or well, you can get a like a dessert wine. Yeah, it's just for desserts. Just oh, for desserts. Okay. Very very yeah. sweet wine. Yeah, it's delicious. Very good. What would be your favourite thing to cook in the house? Do you like bones in your steak? Would you eat a tomahawk? Ah, uh, right enough, good question. Well, I'd eat around it, probably. Ah, oh, well, you're not going to eat the <laughs> bone, then. But why is it different for Everyone a tomahawk? Everyone does that job. <laughs> why, why is it different for a tomahawk than it is for chicken? Do you know, it would creep me out a wee bit, like... Would it actually? You no, know, I wouldn't order a tomahawk. No. That's crazy. It's unreal. <laughs> I know. Just, like, like, you know, if it's put in front of me now, I'd eat it. Would you but I wouldn't, I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't go into the, oh, I fuck, can't wait for this fucking tomahawk with the size of that bone, you know. But do you like steak? I like steak, yeah. Like, love steak? Is steak like, oh, I love steak? I love steak. It's probably one of the, f- until I see the price, it's probably one of the first things I would see in a menu. Like, uh, I'd be like, oh, I'm thinking about that steak, you know. It's 38 pounds. <laughs> fuck <laughs> yeah. I love included. the burger. <laughs> I'll have the fucking burger. <laughs> yeah. No, but like, whenever I'm going to nice restaurants, I would, I would. Probably think of the steak first, unless there was like a like a house a house meal there that people uh, recommend. You know, would do you, you like ever seafood? eat bone marrow? Fuck off! Lad. <laughs> <laughs> I actually I got a, a, bone bo- a bone marrow sauce one time. Nice. Not really because the boy beside me ordered pepper sauce and his pepper sauce was fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the bone marrow was grand, but it wasn't as good Trash. as the pepper sauce. I'd, I'd love to, like I've never I've done it myself, but I'd love to go to a restaurant that does like proper bone marrow on toast. Uh, it's it's meant to be an unreal. Cool. It's disgusting. Okay, it's a bit you overrated meant, too. You mentioned uh, their fish. Um, I think so. What did you say? She said it's overrated. Uh, I think it's one of them we silly things that people make oh, sometimes. Man. It's like, mm, we'll make it into I'm pretentious. We'll, make it in, we'll we put it onto toast. It's like, fuck off. Like, <laughs> 
Yeah, but you just don't like bones. <laughs> True that. I, just, I don't like bones, but I don't like it being made into like a fucking mush and put on Ooh. toast. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> so, uh, do you know that actually sounds unnatural? Right? <laughs> it sounds <laughs> really, really unnatural to, take a, to take a bone. How does that like, sound? It's literally the most natural thing. Ah, exactly. What? To disintegrate a bone into mush and put it on the toast? Do you, no, uh, but like... Eat it, the toast out of it for a second. Do you eat black pudding? <laughs> No, <laughs> really? don't eat white pudding either. I don't even know what's in them. They sound disgusting. Though. Blood, blood, there, <laughs> there. Fuck that. Fucking <laughs> fuck your blood. Can we, like, need can blood. we clip him going black? Sounds <laughs> 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 like a fucking five year old. I will not be eating fucking blood or touching blood. Anyway, sorry. Get back to turkey the turkey dinosaurs. Yes, sorry, continue. Turkey dinosaurs are all right. Um, <laughs> Fish. 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 Um, my recent sort of uh, ventures with fish were the dolphin. Exploration. In, yep. Uh, where is it? <laughs> Gordon Gort- Gort- Did you see that episode? Yep. I did. Good man. Um, so, uh, obviously there was a bit of crack. And, oh, he's not going to eat the bones. He's not going to eat the fish. But I fucking did, right? <laughs> and I really enjoyed the fish. <laughs> it's the toilets after. No, it was actually amazing. Like, the fish was, uh, was lovely. We had a sea bream and a... Salmon. We did salmon, salmon, yeah, and it was lovely. Just the way it was cooked, and I, and I agree. Like I would go now if I was to go to a seafood restaurant, and there actually is one I'm going to go to soon. Uh, Where Lear? So my son's called Lear. Oh, wait, where's Street. that at? And it's Korean, and they open. They're supposed to be very, very good. Oh, it's fine dining. Anyway. and it's like um, it's, it's very seafoody. Uh, be paying for that, all right. Um, I'm taking Clina and go take and her a parents. Go take Lear <laughs> as well. Other parents stay at home. Um, I'm um, gonna go there. I'm gonna gonna do that, you know, and give that a go. Now that I've been there, I tasted a bit of fish, and I'm like, right, if it's if it's cooked right, if it's cooked in the right way, I could enjoy fish. So that was my first. That was my first venture at 32 years of age into fish. My word. We'll be taking uh, John to the sushi restaurant very nah, soon. I'll be going to sushi. Yeah. I don't agree with raw. Do you like sushi? No, I, I don't think sushi. raw fish Love is sushi. Yes. so good, isn't it? So good. Raw, like mm-hmm. soul no. seafood, and uh, aye, you like sushi? Oh, fuck that. <laughs> soul, no, soul seafood. Maybe I can get into it. Who knows? A hike. Definitely. But like, can you eat? Uh, can you eat raw fish or sushi without sauces? Just raw, just. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh why? Oh, uh, Physically, you mm-hmm. should be eating it. Steak tartar as well. It sounds like ah, no, but that. steak yeah. steak can be broken down by the human body. Can raw fish? Yeah. Aye. I didn't know that. Lads. Chill the fuck. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> me! I've been eating fish fingers all my life. <laughs> Not going around eating raw fish. Imagine me sitting there in P three and my fucking ma throwing sushi in front of me. That didn't happen. Like, but you would eat it, huh? If you're in P three, you would eat it. No, uh, no. I, you, I say you're a nightmare as a wean. Such a picky eater. Wouldn't it? Wasn't picky. I just had like two or three things. They had uh, pizza, chicken nuggets, fish fingers the other time. <laughs> That's, about it. That's it. I eat a lot more now, lads. Like, spuds. Yeah, I also eat waffles. <laughs> <laughs> waffles, waffles, and the toaster is a game changer as well. Like, Unreal, you know, it's so I, good, isn't it? Stuck. I got caught the other day. Made yeah. waffles the day before. Forgot to turn the toaster down, didn't I? Oh, for fuck's sake! Making myself a wee English muffin. Treated myself. <laughs> Burned. Black, oh, like black. Fire alarm go off? No. No, I'm not convinced it works, but <laughs> it's sort of working for me rather than against me at the moment, to be honest. We had, we had a fire woman on one time, like, and she'd not be happy listening to that. Uh, here, fuck, where are we at with this? Um, death row meal, anyway. Here, what would no, be we your, finished it. Uh, but what would be your last sort of words? Like, you don't need to talk about family or regrets, just like, would you like say something as you leave? You know, you're just about to get electrocuted. I have an interesting fact about this once he says it. Okay. <laughs> Um, you know, whoever pushes that button's gay. And then everybody just looks over at him and like, you just push that button. <laughs> he said, push that button. Yeah. That's the <laughs> best answer I think I've ever fucking heard. That is hey, so funny. Tell us your story. I think something Shane Gillis would say. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what, what you do you know the saying from Nike or Nike? Just whatever, do it. Just do it. That came from someone in Death Row. That was his last words, Fuck apparently. Off. They were asking him, What's your last words? He was just, Just do it. Imagine it was Nike. If you push that button, you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> if you wear these shoes, you're gay. <laughs> Wouldn't have been many fucking sales back then. <laughs> Um, oh, we're going to get into so much trouble for Favourite thing to cook in the house <laughs> I already asked you that Did you get to that? Favourite no. thing to cook in the house? What, today? No, in general 
don't know. Oh yeah, no. Oh, no, we did, we did, because I went off on a tangent. I just remembered because I was about to do it again. I like cooking. I like somebody to come in and tell me what they would like me to cook, especially ah. if I've never cooked it. You know, and then you sort of feel your way through it. What's the best thing that someone's asked you and that you've you've nailed it? <laughs> Everything. <man. laughs> do you read Everything. instructions? Like no, you'd look it up, man. You would. Oh, I I get the ingredients list, ah. but I I don't measure anything. Just dabble. I don't have a set of scales. Well, sorry, I have scales in the house, but there's no battery in it. Do you do much baking? I used to do baking. Uh, bread, a lot of bread. Like really? making bread, yeah. Um, enjoy, enjoyed needing it. I got a bread maker from my granny not so long ago. Did too. you? Yeah, enjoy that. Um, but I couldn't need it. I got the operation. so I You didn't need it? I couldn't because of my shoulder, but the uh, machine does all for you. Yeah, you just fire everything into it. Yes. I don't. I don't like bacon because it's... It's so it's particular. Pre- uh, it's precise, isn't you it? You need exactly 500 grams of this and all that. No, we was cooking, there's room for air. There is, I. Um, Amy asked me last week to do uh, beer battered cod, or beer battered whiten, I did, uh, and chips, Ooh. and I love making that, like, love making that. Nice. Yeah, it's great, yeah. Thick cut chips for that. Oh, chunky. Uh, yeah. Big chunkers. Big, big chunkers. Peas? Is uh, there mushy peas in there? Just going to ask. Oh. I, I, Amy's not a fan of mushy peas, so we had peas. But not mushy garden peas. peas. Yeah, garden ah, peas. Shady, I also tried batter and a chip. Batter and a chip. How that batter and chip? I had no bad actually. <laughs> I mean, they're not good for you. No. I, like I made the chips and then I had batter and then I was like, I'm. Do you ever have a battered <laughs> Mars bar? I have. Lovely. Yeah. Very good. I've you never want, had one. Very you very you hot. You'd want them boys probably. Bye. Mahara. Yeah yeah yeah. See how I do that. Like. Um, fucking lethal. Lad. Surprisingly hot though. Surprisingly aye, aye. hot. Do you, do you ever like feel your heart after? You're like. Like, I probably shouldn't have ate that. Yeah. Uh, is it every part of your body? Do you, get, <laughs> do you get, like, the sweats that you normally get whenever you're eating, like, a you eat it. You eat it, and then you, like, feel this warmth going down your throat, and then it comes down to your heart, and then your heart, like, beats. Like, <laughs> and, then you, and then you get a pain in your chest, and you're like, do you ever see Homer Simpson, where he eats, and he, and he's, and he eats, and it goes into him, and he's like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> he just and then he's like, and then he starts eating again. Was nice. like that. Um, John. You actually didn't, sorry. Keep you right. Um, Fergus podcast. I need, a, I need, a, need a put on that. <laughs> um, I'm not a tech whiz with computers. Anyway, um, you actually didn't answer the question. So, God, he said he's writing the fish. He made no, no. He mentioned that Amy wanted that recently, but I want to know what you would make yourself. I know you said I need someone. You know, oh, what do you want? But if you had to go home tonight, nobody's in the house, and you had to make something for yourself. Oh, uh, just a quick dinner. Uh, not even a quick dinner. Something to enjoy. Sitting down to watch a bit of rugby or something. Do you know what? Uh, Rugby, yeah. Sorted at least two to three times a week. Chicken wraps in the air fryer. Chicken wraps in the air fryer. Chicken wraps in the air fryer. And they are so good. So good. Do you have a full technique? I have a... Oh, I'm good. I'm real good. good, What's in the chicken wraps then apart from chicken, obviously? I'll mix it up. Uh I'll even have two different wraps with two different things in them on the same plate. You know? But I've got a dual drawer. So I'm bragging a wee bit. <laughs> a, a, dual, a dual drawer air fryer. Yeah, they're deadly. Yeah. I haven't I haven't ventured to them yet. Unreal. Yeah. So the first drawer, you need to start in this order. So you're making wedges. Mm-hmm. So just chop your potatoes, get your cumin, your cayenne, your paprika, your garam masala, everything fired into a big bowl, tiny wee bit of oil in the left drawer. You see that left drawer? Like a, just what I'm thinking is, isn't there like a grate? Have you got a grate yeah. under yeah. it? Uh-huh. And yeah. then underneath that, there's obviously a space. But do yeah. you put that into like a little? Um, like a little holder to keep all those ingredients and they're not getting too messy or is it just go straight into it? No. So just thinking that it's falling through that crate. No, no, because whenever you're finished, wee bit of fairy liquid, wee bit of water into the air fryer, stick her back in, turn her on for four minutes. That cleans it. I will change your oh, it. Makes it, it makes it so much easier Clean to clean. Did you hear that? It's fucking deadly. Like. Okay. There's a patent <laughs> on that as well. I'm not telling Clean to do it. I'm just saying like, fuck, wow. we, we, we clean. But that's you why we clean the air fryer a lot quicker now. Like. Uh, that's it. Like literally just fill the water up so it's above the grate. A wee bit of fairy liquid into it. Give it a wee swirl. Stick her back in. <laughs> I'm minutes. fucking amazed. Mine Mine is. Is. Like, that's fucking lethal. Oh, I've, I'm that's a hack. Air frying pro. Like. That's a fucking hack. Anyway, sorry. Uh, so you do that in the left drawer and then uh, just like check it. Iceland, you do like... Uh, Ten for eight quid or eight for ten quid or something. Thailand though, like I don't trust it as much. What the chicken? The chicken, I. Fuck it, lad. Fuck it. Do you hear how much I'm paying in rent? I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but you've got you go to Tesco's and it's in, it's it's been fucking pumped full of water, and then you go to Iceland and it's in Thailand. Like I've been to Thailand. It's not a fucking clean place. Like what, did you, what did you eat in Thailand? 
Do you bring uh, your own chicken? I bring enough food. On the bone? <laughs> wasn't on the bone. No, it was, you got boneless chicken in Thailand. Uh, boneless chicken? No, it was on. It was uh, one of McDonald's. Their, it was one of their specialties. No, it was like street street chicken. I can't mind what it's called. It's like pak chow or chow pak. Or something. <laughs> you had. What are you giggling about? You had street you chicken in called? Thailand, and that's why you're skeptical of food. I just know pak chow is the best. No, it's not <laughs> pak chow. Like, it's like. <laughs> It'll come, sure it It'll come to me. It'll come to me. It's not pak choy anyway. Um, yes, I had, I had street chicken. Street chicken in uh, Thailand. But there's nothing wrong with it. Like. Uh, no, it wasn't it's, best. It's like, you. It is, but I would do that. But I would cook maybe 15 bujons and then you put them in your wrap. Wee bit of salad, you know. Yeah. Nice. nice. Some nice wee fine tomatoes as well, you know. Ooh. And then maybe have like sriracha in one mm. or like mayo and then mayo in the other. Or you can make a wee sauce up, you know. Yeah, yeah. Nice I, that's I'd be go to sauce for myself actually. Yeah, sriracha and mayo. Sriracha, no, you try get the uh, mayo, garam masala, and a wee bit of honey. Gara what? Garam masala. It's like a almost like a curry powder, oh, yeah, but it, it's got a really low dissolving temperature, so mm. you don't have to cook it for it to mix into sauces and stuff. Right. Wee bit of that into it and a wee bit of honey. Unreal. Mm. Change your life. Sounds nice. Yeah. You're already changed my life with that air fryer. <laughs> cleaning the fucking air fryer. No, no, it doesn't clean the air. You still have to clean the air fryer. Oh, right, but it right. makes it a lot easier to clean. Oh, that's shit then. <laughs> um, no, fantastic. There we go. See, I'll get the fucking answers out of you. Yet. Wait, here, uh, best chippy in Marafelt. Chippy? Chippy. How many chippies is there in Marafelt? Too many, probably. Um, Mrs. Brown's, that one. Mrs. There? Brown's. I forgot about it. The Diamond. I don't go for a chippy. Diamond I'm not a big chippy guy, either, no? to be honest. No. I do. I went down to Rolly's. Rolly used to run the restaurant Rollies. in the jungle. Uh, but uh, he's he's not a chippy. He's like barbecue. Ah, it's, it's barbecue. barbecue stuff. Yeah, he does a spice bag um, though. Yeah, I've heard good, good things gear. actually. Yeah, recently, very yeah. good. In fairness, um, they stopped doing the roasts. Oh, so they have in there. They used to do roast Sunday dinners. And I hear they're the very good. good. Yeah, I, I never. The, we won't get to try them ever again because they don't do them. So well, now, now I really want one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want one now. Too. Right, but the roast beef looked amazing. Maybe he's trying to create that. Buzz. I had to bring it back. Uh, uh, there's snack box as well. Coco's uh, is closed. Jo- Jaunties. Uh, I seen closed. that. Coco's gone. <sighs> um, and uh, so they're opened up. They they run. They're in the splash. They do splash and the jungle. I was going to actually chat about Top Deck and we oh, so we just stopped talking. Edit that out. Just, uh, <laughs> we'll just fuck up. Then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we fuck up. <laughs> we fuck up about Top Deck, man. <laughs> Well, we're still, we're Marfelt here. Top Dogs Marfelt. Uh, it's not Marfelt. Um, what else is there? No, that's the only ones I know. But you're gonna hit me again because the best local chippy is in Money Moor too. Golden Chip. Money Moor is full count, lad. What? Well, golden, I've heard good things about Golden Chip. They're uh, chicken fillet burger with a pineapple on top. What? Pineapple on top? On I'm top of the burger you. or inside the bun? Inside the bun. Ah, okay. But on top of the burger. Ah, I don't uh, mind. I'm, I'm not. A, I'm not. Opposed to that, I've kind nah, of changed my mind about that. I wouldn't take pineapple on pizza, pizza, but that is awesome. You wouldn't take pineapple on pizza. No. I mean, if it was given to me, I did. Don't agree. Yeah. Don't agree. Like with no, I don't agree. I don't. I agree with you. I don't agree with pineapple on anything. To be honest with you, like. so you apart from what you're trying to say there is you don't like pineapple. I don't, no, I'd have, I'd have pineapple on a fruit salad, like, but I wouldn't have it on anything. You know, that's completely contrasting. You would put it on fruit. the fruit salad. But have it in the fruit salad. In the fruit salad. Not on it. <laughs> right, okay. You <laughs> had it on the burger. And I was like, is it inside the burger? Or is it on top it's of the inside. It, it is, I'm telling you, it's good. Is that not a Hawaiian burger? It is, I. but a that's Hawaiian chicken burger. But if you ordered a chicken Maryland in a restaurant, you would, it would come with pineapple. Uh, would, yeah. Mm. Would it? Mm-hmm. Would. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Well, yours wouldn't. You'd be like, I'm going to take a bonus. Boneless. <laughs> um, <laughs> is there some bones? Not pineapple. Joe Kane, actually, I think, Golden <laughs> Chip. I think he, um, I think he's in there chatting to them and helping them out at one stage. I think... I think Bradmount. I think they're a part of Bradmount. Is that the one he said the chips were unbelievable? Yeah, yeah. Bradmount is Daddy Chambers. Justy Chambers owns the Golden Chip. Ah, Um, so is that connection then? I was right. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. You ever at Bradmount? Um, Never. No. I'll not explain to you where he lives then. Well, you can if you want, but that's okay. Uh, He lives Um, beside Bradmount. (laughs) 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 What's a place? (laughs) Very good. (laughs) Shout out to Bradmount, by the way. Bradmount. Aye, so you just don't care about the chippies and Marfa Falta and Grant? I, I, just, I just don't go, like... I would say snack box. I go Chinese or I pizza. do like snack box, by all means. I have nothing against them, but I also really enjoy making chips. Oh, at home? Yeah, you know, yeah. love making chips and, like, I'll show you the wee fish. Don't, <laughs> wee don't, don't, uh, don't share this with anybody else. Um, we can't put it up on the... 
No, it's good we're not on the podcast. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to send it to you so that you can't show anybody else. I'm just going to show you. What is it? You're sending me. I might not download that. That's the. Uh, Oh wow! Yeah. Is this what you get? Yeah. And yeah. onion rings. You have onion rings and everything. Uh-huh. Boat. What's the boat? <laughs> Curry sauce. Why can't I share this? Because uh, I don't want anybody else to see it. I just Why? want them to sit there, like wondering. Oh, I wonder what that looked like. Does everyone agree that? <laughs> <laughs> Zoom in on it. Zoom in on it. Does everyone agree that curry sauce belongs in a fish, fish and chips? I just love curry sauce. I eat curry sauce with anything. Hi, uh, but, but like it should have been thing. tartar. It is a thing with with with. Uh, with fish and chips now? No, tartar sauce is your thing with fish and chips. I think down south. Is it? Down south, chippies, you ask for gravy, and they look at you like you have ten heads. I need to be a... Curry, curry sauce and fish and chips, unreal. All over it or dipping it? I dip. I dip. I like break it up. <laughs> all over it. All over it. Fire it on. <laughs> That's going to ruin the crispier fish. Ah, you know what? It was crispy, like. It was crispy. Double fried it, you see. Took it out and then put it Are back in. Are you putting it up on the screen? <laughs> You're dirty what? Bastard. Did you send that to yourself? <laughs> no. Did you send it in HD? <laughs> no. You didn't. <laughs> yeah, it does look good, man. That's a massive fish. Where'd you get the fish? Fish, man. Two of them for four fifty. Is that a super, um, is that a superhero? On Thursday. <laughs> Thursday, that fish man that comes. A fish man. I haven't been that. Is this a Marvel? Uh-huh. Do you know... Ugh, obviously, I didn't like fish at one stage. I still am not too fussed on it, but I used to at one hate stage, I This man has changed your I life. I used to hate walking through that car park. The smell of the fish. I was like, Ugh. Ugh. You know, I used to make a joke to myself every time I walked up because I had to walk through there. Oh, I know you know it Wait, is that in case there was a puma on the other side of the road? <laughs> is, is, is that the one fish market? And you're like, Good morning. Morning, well, ladies. Uh, <laughs> it's, from a, it's from that uh, it's from a song. Yeah. song. Afro man, yeah. <laughs> look it up. Put it, put it in the podcast so I don't seem as creepy. Talk us through this, Michael. Uh, beer battered fish. Chips. What type of fish was it again? Cod or whiting. no? It was white. Oh, whiting. 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 Yeah. Whiting. Uh, some onion rings, chips, peas, and curry sauce. Beautiful. And the curry it's sauce. It's a very thick looking curry sauce. That, that is, is looks proper brown. thick. I cooked that curry sauce for like an hour. <laughs> <thick enough. laughs> looks very very brown. It is, it's reasonably brown. <laughs> Why would you cook it for an hour? To thicken it. I'm not grilling you here, but I want to know. Like, just, um, to, just to thicken it up. Nice and, nice and thick. Like. Oh, thi- like, it all came out together. Yeah. You know, you had That's to carve it. it. <laughs> but uh, it was very good. Hand it out to everybody. No, very good. Yep, yep. I'll take it off the screen now in a wee second. Like that there. Do you like my gravy boat? I do. That's quite oh, nice. That's cool. Yeah. That's uh, a Danby one. Sis- Denby's a sister good sister bought me that. Yeah, it's a British maid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very good. <laughs> He's trying to make it political again, isn't he? <laughs> <it? laughs> Briti- British and Irish mate. British <laughs> no, it is it's British. <laughs> it's British mate, I think. Um, best pizza in Marafelt. Are you much of a pizza guy? I, I like pizza. Pizza cuts the stomach out of me, though. Uh, do you so like much, it? Too much bread. I do enjoy it, yeah. After you're like. Bleh. Yeah, yeah. Um, love Notorious. Think- I, I really do enjoy Notorious. It's hard to get away from it in Marfelt, isn't it? Uh, it is. It's good, like, but um, the bottom of brunch is supposed to be, like, not a proper session. I've seen girls I've heard. falling out of the fucking front of it there the other day. Like, <laughs> so funny. Like, I was I was driving up, uh, do you know, coming out of Meadow Lane Shopping, uh, parking, mm-hmm. um, and you can see Notorious on the right, and you can see some beauty place on the left, and there was these girls down the alleyway, and they were, like, they were just, like, Half cut. <laughs> well, they weren't too bad. What, what Over exaggerated. Show me that again. There were two of them. Like, <laughs> like, you look like Beaker. <laughs> look like bowling pins. And, but then there were two others, and I was wondering, you know, were they just, you know, just sort of swaying a wee bit? But there's two others just like in heels, and it was like, <laughs> like trying to get over to them. <laughs> like, you know, as if it was really hard to get at. And this is like six in the day. Yeah, see, that's the thing that messes because you go inside and you go downstairs, yeah. and there's no windows. And when you come There's out no of there, you come out at <laughs> three o'clock in the day, right. side roads with the sun beating like down a vampire. Right? I have no idea what's going on. Uh, so notorious. Have you have done the bottomless brunch then? I I, I, I um, lifted Amy from it one day. I think she it's probably enjoy- needed lifted. Enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I know people that go like twice a month to it. Yeah, because it is cheap, and they're like they're dead on. They're not like no, you haven't quite finished that yet. You know, they'll come up to you and they'll go uh, of straight off the bat, go and get your cocktails, and like there's no f- fucking. They don't cut you off or anything, do you? You have ninety minutes. 
90 minutes, 90 go. Minutes, yeah. <laughs> you go. And you can change your drinks and all, like, so they're, they're signed that way. Yeah, but like Wolf of Wall Street, just like, come and bring that to me every five minutes until he passes the fuck yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'd make it to the 90 minutes. You know, that's, if you were rightly at yourself, that could be dangerous. It could be. Yeah. Do they do Long Islands? I don't well, know. They do, their cocktails are unreal. Uh, they are, I've had yeah. pina colada, very good. Long Island would fuck you up. Like, That's what I'm thinking. Oh, like, yeah, three, three Long Islands and you'd be in the toilet. <laughs> r- r- ringing your ex-girlfriend. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, I wouldn't ring yours. No. Um, oh. Oh. I'm only joking. Um, Dirty. So, <laughs> pizza. We're talking pizza. So Notorious, obviously, is one of the top yep. around the area. Um, mm-hmm. And any other pizza places in Marafelt that pizza you man. consider? Solo pizza. You were talking about solos the other day. You Did you agree with me about... Did you listen to that episode? I think uh-huh. I mentioned solos what did you say? was kind of like one you'd eat at home. Uh-huh. I think you would more eat solos at home. I, than what I love if about they ever it, got the order right. What, yeah. uh, what I love about it is the amount of cheese they put on it. Shots fired. You know what I'm... <laughs> uh, that was Sonny's. That was Sonny's. Yeah, was Sonny's Sonny's are it? a lot better now, I have to say. And... Sorry, Sonny's, about the last episode. Did you get down off by Sonny's? No, I did not. I just want to say, like, I, I was annoyed at them and I mentioned that it was lockdown at the time and maybe they just, you know, there was too much cheese in stock and they had to use it. But <laughs> now the pizzas are a lot better and if I do say less cheese, they do put less cheese. So thank you, Sonny's, for correcting that. Um, there was one time they did put loads of cheese in my pizza and I fucking loved it or something. no no it was I too really much enjoyed it. see yeah. I see the limit that it got or the the sort of what it got to was there already was too much on the pizza for me in general and then I says could you just dial that back a wee bit like just a bit so you, you're not a fan of a very cheesy pizza I don't mind a very cheesy pizza but I felt theirs was too cheesy like I wouldn't go around any other any other of the pizza places and ask for less cheese. I it think was just them. I just think them. Bamboo was open this evening and they fucking see you. <laughs> <laughs> There's nah. a fucker there. <laughs> Send him back to his waffles and five fingers. There's a story. There's a story. Um, whenever during lockdown, there was a day where I got a I got a Bob and Bert's delivered. And then Clayna woke up like two hours later and then she got a bomb burst delivered. And then that night, Fuck. she fell asleep again. I got oh. like a pizza delivered. And then there's a Chinese delivered. And the Chinese and the pizza guy met in the driveway. <laughs> 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 so they were, they were well fucking used to us. Like, Why um, do you not just... I go down and get it. You're uh, like two seconds away. That oh, cost but you... it was locked down. I wasn't out to leave the house. <laughs> oh, right. No, I don't know. I was just lazy. I must have cost um, you about like we actually used, tenner in we, delivery. We only used places that took card and was be able to deliver. Like we were lazy bastards. Um, Look, I loved lockdown. I yes, loved pizza. all of COVID. I didn't everyone, mind it. Like, everyone loved it. Obviously, it was shitty at, at, in some ways, but the other side of it was a bit of time to yourself. Oh, you chill know, out and... let's chill out a bit more here. Mm-hmm. Um, so pizza, pizza man. Topic the the toppings are too heavy for me. Um, you, so, you solo, I like it at home. Nice, comforting solo. Um, Jaunty's is a very Thanks. nice pizza. <laughs> he's ever. What are you talking about now? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be talking to Jude. Don't be talking to Jude. You're not allowed to talk to Jude. You're not allowed to talk to Jude. No more. So rude. Jude, Jude loves me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Uh, Jaunty's is a very good pizza. I'll give a shout out to Jaunty's. You ever know Jaunty's pizza? No. Where's Jaunty's? Corner uh, Rennie Street. Do you remember? Yeah, it's Corner Calf. Corner Calf. Mm-hmm. Corner Calf. Was, they do Jaunty's. pizza. Uh, yes, they do. Huh. It's really nice. Who would have thought? Bryson's as well now. No does way. a good pizza. That's that and recipe. It, and there's a recipe from the pizza shop Matt Landers used to have. Yeah, the guy that opened whenever he wanted. Aye, <laughs> aye. Did you hear that story about him? I knew that anyway. Like Me, I was like, you were literally shot in the dark. Aye. You had no legend, clue. Like, uh-huh. Legend, just showing up whenever. Did what he wanted. Yeah. Yeah. As I had leaving the house. Where are you going? Uh, make a little pizza shop, don't know. I did enjoy you talking about, was it uh, your sister-in-law? Sister-in-law in? getting the lights turned yeah. off. Uh, <laughs> Just sitting there awkwardly. Pretty, I kind of expected that. Like, you know, it wasn't out of, out of character. Like, <laughs> was it, out. Were the pizzas that good? The pizzas were lethal. The pizzas, like, and I'm, I wouldn't really say I'm a pizza connoisseur. The pizzas were unreal. The pizzas were lethal. Mm-hmm. Did you ever get them, Jim? No. no. No, pizzas, yeah. pizza I enjoyed shop. Coco's pizzas too, though. Yeah, pizzas Coco's were class. Coco's pizzas Always were very good. They're very, very good. Yeah, available um, this summer at Top Deck. Oh, really? Are they bring them? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. It's very good to hear that. Yeah. They did pizzas last year, but uh, it's a different oven and stuff. But uh, no. I think they're going back to their like pizza, pizza. Lethal. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, we're not allowed to talk Top Deck. Oh, sorry, shit, sorry. Sorry. Yep. sorry, Top Deck. <laughs> we get to it. When are you going to um, bring it up? What's that? Doesn't matter. We'll, we'll talk about it soon, lad. Oh, it's actually coming up. 
Oh, <laughs> it's coming up. It's so coming fucking up. rude. Um, best Chinese. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just well, triggered this which man. Which Chinese did you say was the best? Would you say it's bamboo? Or Bamboo's my go-to. Uh, bamboo. I wanted to go to it today, but it wasn't <laughs> fucking open. How'd that go, to It fucking was. They're still they're up there sitting laughing. Jeez. We showed him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's that fucker on the podcast. No. Um, Bamboo, Bamboo's still nice. I would go to Bamboo anyway. Yeah. Golden Gate, I would go to regularly because of the Singapore curry. That Chinese uh, tonight was very, very good. Yeah. Very good. So very I nice. thought it was me that you went for. Yeah, we phone call with me. I forgot used to work in Golden Gate years ago. I used ago. to see him. Sure, I lived there. Uh, I know. Yes. <laughs> It was lethal. Like I used to ring him up, and everybody else was like, "Everybody was like, you messaged me. You were like, they had the ring. ring. You know the way you have to ring Chinese like ten times to get through. Oh, I messaged yeah. him here last week on our usual there. <laughs> <laughs> and he, and any time I came, he was already eating all that. <laughs> classic, oh, no. absolute classic. Oh, am I? Oh, am I? <laughs> the usual lad. Oh, am I? And the wee sausage for the dog. Uh, the wee sausage for the That's dog. Right, there's yeah. always oh, the you sausage. Know I've told you. You listen to this podcast. I actually work in all the Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> I was um, in bamboo flicking the lights off today. Jump in his comment. Shut up, shut up. Charge that next boy for prong crack. Uh, <laughs> um, but it was bamboo. You said it was probably the best. It's um, bamboo's my go-to. It is. is. Is that your normal order? No, I actually would not eat my normal order on camera. Uh, What's your normal order? Well, well I don't have a normal. Lip slapper. Like, I would. I would eat a lot of special curry. Um, you know, with the prawns and everything in it. Yeah, or yeah. Me garlic too. and chili beef. Oh, really? Yeah. You, you know, the wet one, not the dry mm. one. Oh. How would you eat it? <laughs> why, why would you not eat it on camera? I, eat, I eat it with a spoon. Right. Because you didn't think there was going to be plates. I, I find that, that creeps me out. I know. Like uh, uh, oh, of course it does. Uh, and then I put <laughs> oh, it in a like, bowl. Big bowl. Everything into all. Everything it. one? And just, yeah. Mix the whole thing. Well, don't mix it, but like your rice and chips will go at the bottom and yeah. then just right over the top, straight into it. I mean, it's not good for you. You you stink of garlic and chili for a week. Deadly. It's unreal. Look, what Deadly. did I order? Carrot. I didn't realize there was wee balls in this. I know. That's salt and chili, which is weird to have it with gravy. <laughs> Fuck it is too. <gasps> well, you said you ordered the same thing as me. Only it Somewhere was similar with gravy. I salt and chili chicken. Lazy and I was just like, oh, I'm gonna order what he has with gravy. Um, is it, so it good? It is nice. Uh, it's still nice. Salt and chili with gravy. It's still nice. So I, I go to ba- I go to the mall. I go to them all. I do disagree with the results of your poll. Why? What's that? I don't think Imperial Palace is that far. What's wrong ahead. with Imperial? What's wrong with Imperial? Nothing. Nothing. You will get a very good Imperial Palace ninety percent of the time, but that ten percent, and I don't like their chips particularly. Are their chips like the shitty Chinese chips that you normally get? Yeah, like those ones there were pretty good. They were good chips. They definitely were. Do they charge prawn crackers? I don't know. I haven't like, and then that's the other thing. Like them steps. All the way, uh, all the way. Don't you like gotta that. Get, you gotta get parked. Yeah, steps. Right, mate. St- steps up and down. Oh fuck! And if you don't go down, <laughs> down steps, again. you're stuck stuck up there. <laughs> you come get me. But if you're going, if you're going to get a sit down meal, it'll be yeah. perfect every time. Yeah. It is a damn good sit down. Still meal. steps on the way down. Aye, but at that stage, because you've had the rest period, <laughs> you know, you've had a couple of hours in between. Where Where in Marafelt do you get charged for prawn crackers? I I'm not gonna rat them out. <laughs> Mm. Telling you, really? I did. I think it was the way I worded it too. Everyone knows where like, you're where you're pointing at. By the way, <laughs> I, I, I didn't say anything. We did. We sort of that talked could about be it. Church, we we talked oh, about yeah, it the last the time. I said I wouldn't tell you who it was, but it rhymes with bangs. Oh wow, you did yeah. that right. I forgot about. That. I genuinely yeah. forgot. I wasn't trying to. But I think it's the way I worded it. So it was a reasonably small order, but it was still like maybe fourteen pound. Mm-hmm. And then I said. And can I get a bag of prawn crackers with that? But the bag of prawn crackers... Do you think that was an opportunity for them to go... Yeah. Oh. I think I was the guinea pig. I think I was the trial. Yeah. Let's see if we can How get away with this. About, how did you feel about that? I felt... I, I was... I was actually... I was more hurt. Disappointed? I, I was, yeah. I really was. You know, because I've done nothing on them. Right. And at the end of the day... What about inflation, Michael? Inflation? In prawn crackers? I how, much, how much more could 14 they cost? Quid. It cost All I ordered was two spring rolls of £14. Pound. <laughs> <laughs> What's usually the limit? Uh, or not the limit, the... I, what is it? The spend is usually like... I would say... 12 and it, over or something. If you're no. ordering for more than one person, yeah. your prawn cracker should be included. Yeah. 
Yeah, know? I agree. Or even do what the chippy does whenever you order your fish. They throw a lock of wee chips. Lock of wee chips. Lock of wee chips you know, throw in a, a wee wee prawn crackers. I'll come back to you. You know? I like that. Mm-hmm. I do. I, I know what you're saying. I agree with you. It's a strange one as well. Like, because you got inflation there, Michael. Like, yeah. you know, cost of living. You know, uh, and, what uh, are you working towards here? <laughs> <laughs> can I, can I ask a question? Hey, oh, sorry, I just oh, one geez. more week. Fergal, one it's your week. podcast. Oh, I just want to say one. It's slogan. your podcast, Fergal. <laughs> Nothing in life is free. All right. Sorry, mate. Sorry, what you say. What do you think about the chicken and cheese spring rolls? Are you fans or? I am a fan after the first two bites, and then after that, I'm like, oh, <laughs> I like them. Uh, I, do, but I would always go for a spicy chicken spring roll if they had them. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Or a duck chicken. spring roll. Duck spring rolls on the goat. We've been housing. Yeah. Chicken and cheese, why do you ask? I just, I don't know how I feel about them. Sometimes I, li- I like them, sometimes I don't. They, don't they would need to be Cantonese, though. They, they don't couldn't feel have very like Chinese, a. Chinese, they say. Like, huh? They don't feel very Chinese. No, they're definitely not. They're definitely something that's invented here. <laughs> no, like, I, like my I, gravy I, half and half. Well, whenever, <laughs> whenever I was in China, they had loads of chicken I, and cheese spring rolls. Like. Gravy, gravy half and half. Yeah. yeah. Did they? Uh-huh. Carrot, crackers with free. crack or carrot on it. <laughs> The wee crinkle cards as well. The, the, the I got a, I the actually, crackers were free too. I got a crinkle cutter from, uh, also from a granny there. Um, you got a what? A crinkle cutter. So or, it's like a chips? knife, but it's... Just is that so you can make the, them cards? Yeah, 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 yeah. from your granny or for your granny? No, so my, my granny's turning 90 next week. Shout out to granny. What's Hell your granny's name? Faith. Faith? Yeah, not a common one, is it? Great name. No, it's a beautiful name. Yeah. Um, happy birthday, Faith. Happy Hope birthday. you have a, a lovely birthday. You need to speak up, she'll not hear you. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday, Faith. Fa- <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to say Faith. Yeah. Happy birthday, Faith. And my granddad's 91 next week, too. B, you've some, you some genetics there, boy. Right, like, not get rid of you for a while, are you? Fuck. But they, they have like a wee book. Um, so they've got four daughters, uh, my mother and three sisters. Mm-hmm. And then they've got, each of them has two children as well. Um so they basically said, look, we're writing a will. If there's anything in the house in particular that you would like when we pass away, let us know and we'll stick it down in the wee book. Yep. So I called up to them there a couple of weeks. They only live a few doors down from me. And I was like, look, the one thing that I quite liked that always reminded me of like childhood growing up here is Sunday dinners with crinkle cut carrots. Right. Would you mind if I... You know, it heard in the knife. My granddad was just like, take it with you. <laughs> <laughs> take it out, fuck. He, he goes, Faith, go and get that now. And that was it. I, mean, I walked over. But I was sitting there and so I was like, no. you're not getting anything else. I was like, look, it'd be... It'd would be quite nice to inherit it. I don't. I don't really want it. And yeah. she was like, "Take it. Just take it away." So I went home and had crinkle cut carrots that evening. It was lovely. <laughs> it was a good job. Like that's brilliant. I don't know how we got to that? I that's a great story. Every, I crinkle cut everything. <laughs> Anything you cut with a normal knife, you can crinkle cut. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Do um, you do that with the chips? Do you make the weed? Oh, I deadly. I have a photo of them somewhere. But I'm, I'm, I'm not. Send it to <laughs> Um I was going to say Top Deck talk, talk to us about Top Deck I don't want to talk about Top Deck <laughs> <laughs> Sorry It's real cheerful Top Deck I two Connors um, Own Coco's in the town uh, And then they've got a Heap of staff So they've uh, Two sort of full timers as well Melissa and Katie And they're sort of Between Top Deck And Lazy Llama yep. They'll go where required um, At the minute We're only doing Like brunches uh, Sure you had it today you How was that? Had a brunch today. It was beautiful. What did you go for? Uh, um, chorizo, chorizo sourdough. That's what av- I would have went avocado for. Avocado and something else. Yeah. How was it? Beautiful. Too Av- avocado way for you because you. No, no, it was gorgeous. No yeah. bones, no nothing. It was beautiful. <laughs> and there okay, was if I had known what you'd ordered, there would have been. <laughs> <laughs> I had brim bones. Um, but there was also another wee thing in a bowl. It was like a wee round, like a, a large kind of wee bowl. <laughs> you fucking work there like I don't know what it's called the bowl's a bowl right but it's the food itself that was in the bowl you, sorry you didn't have this I didn't have it no I because I was trying I to work I out what it, was on your plate I wish I had it ordered it do you Raging. it's called shakshuka raging for me I, yeah. um, shakshuka shakshuka do you know yeah. much about it what's in um, it what, what would you like to know about it what is shakshuka like uh, it's basically like Onions cooked in like a red pepper relish. Oh uh, yeah, Aye, that looks that looked unreal. Yeah, it is good. And then they put two eggs, two raw yep. eggs on top, and cook it in the pizza yes. oven. Yes, serve it with a bit of sourdough. It is. And then you just oh, oh so man, good. no, it looked. It, I, I ordered what I ordered was beautiful. But then North African, North African is North right. North African. Yeah, from Are Nigeria. You or is this just no, from? Just oh. <laughs> 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 just knows. <laughs> 
Where where does it where does it originate? Is it Nigeria? I have no idea. It's just North Africa. That's North Africa. Africa. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. It's a bit open, like. But it, it's it's lovely, like it's really good. They do another thing. Um, it wasn't on the menu today, so I was, um, do it on Saturdays and Sundays. Huevos rotos, uh, mm. which huevos rotos, which is Spanish for uh, broken eggs. So they get um, potato cubes, and then they put the red relish on top of it, and then they do your, um, what is it? Uh, chorizo, like a chorizo sausage. Mm. Uh, and then they have broken eggs on top of that yes. as well. It is so good. That that's that's my amazing. go-to. Like, yeah. Do you get it. that for lunch then? Well, it's a brunch, but it's served till two. So I don't know where the line between lunch and breakfast <laughs> and stuff is. But I, I would I would treat myself to that on the, the odd Sunday. Deadly. Here, have it's you nice. an al- have you an alcohol license? Not yet. Are you mm. thinking about it? Working on it. We need to get the jungle over the line, first of all. Um, hopefully, so we'll get Hard a Hard enough to do, probably. <laughs> alcohol Pain license. in the arse it is, because they will come out and they will inspect everything. Um, but because uh, like the building's not actually that long opened, um, so we need to get everything signed off and passed off and all the work's done. And then we can apply for a corporate license, hopefully. Um, so that'll be for like different functions and things like that. Yeah, yeah. Once Very the good. functions are sorted, then... Happy days, but we'll not. We will not open as like a bar. Aye, you know, aye. It's just for aye, alcohol there, there and water. Thinking, you know, if you had corporate events and things like that, I don't know what way the ins and outs of the license work. But if you're able to do rugby days on the big screen and stuff like that, I'd be unreal. That'd be class. I'd be lethal. Be really good. Um, mm-hmm. And then we get a lot of stag and hand grips and stuff through yeah. the summer too. So yeah, if we had somewhere for there to get a couple Very of pints out. So you're working on that. And working on that. Take a while, maybe. Like, everything's slow. Like if Brian Sainage. Do you know how hard it is to get brown signage? Signage? Like, you know what brown sign that points like at like a tourism an type of sign? Yeah, right. exactly. So oh, you've got to go yeah. through. I've always wondered that. Service, no. There's loads of places around this area that I'm like very touristy, but there's never like a brown tourist sign to direct it, people to. It. So the legislation behind brown signage is now 10 years out of date to the extent where whenever this. Uh, the whole sort of legislation around it was first put together. Aquaparks didn't exist in this country. Whoa! So we're like, we are such a grey area. We don't fall into any category. Yeah. You know, and we're, because like, you can't walk the entire way around our lake, you can't be classed as a walk because you have to turn and come back on yourself. Yes. So we don't fall into that. You know, it's it's crazy the way it all works. So we're we're fighting, and in fairness to the girls in the uh, council, they're really helping us out. Um but it is, it's just a pain in the arse. Like, wow. this has been ongoing for a few years now. You wonder who's in That's those mental. in those organisations, like, signing this off. Oh, I can't walk around it. <laughs> Two more years, we'll maybe come back and see if the crack is with you. You know uh, what I mean? That's it. Well, we're through, we're through all that stage now, and we're waiting on road service, but everything's massively backlogged to them. So there's only one company that'll, like, print this stuff. So road service will come out. Uh, they have an agreement with a company, but you can go elsewhere... And if you can find somewhere else that'll do it, but then it has to get clearance. Mm. Like it's not a case of just going and getting a sign. Then road service decide how many signs you need and you have to pay for them. So we would need, for Splash, we need six signs. Like you need one on the main Money More Road, yeah. then you need one at the top of the Gordigilly Road, then yeah. you need one opposite Splash Point and into Splash. I went a different direction today and I was like, there's no sign this way. There's We put a sign out one time, somebody reported us. Aye. Uh, I was actually wondering about that sign. It's like, <laughs> why would they? It's very, it's very boring. Is it the person that owned the field or you, where you put it beside? No, or? just people of little bit. That's mental. You know? Nuts. Like, it's the fucking idiots. Yeah. Um, oh, I was going to say something there. The jungle. What about the jungle? Does it not have any brown signs? We've got brown signs. I used to. Yeah, we've got brown signs. No, but even it, it, it was there before my time, but it, it was a bit of a ballocks too. It's so bad that I. Want to giggle at brown signage? <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was saying brown silage. <laughs> First, that's why he's like, what? Sorry. <laughs> Brown signage. Brown signage. Yeah. Brown signage. Um, <clears throat> are you just going to do more food in the, what do you call yeah, it? Yeah, we'll open for lunch and dinners and stuff as well once we start moving through. You just know what you just want to do? Is this Lama? You're not talking about pizzas? ribs and stuff. So at the Lama, they're going into the barbecue route um, and Beef. they're going to open. Because I seen, I seen them do a big rack. Uh, we were at a, a food night up at it. We worked with a hot sauce company from Belfast. Nice. I think it's actually called Belfast Hot Sauce, potentially. Right. Fuck. Can't remember. <laughs> can't remember. That might be wrong, actually. It's I would need to check it. Yep. But they did, um, did like five courses and it was unbelievable. Deadly. But at the end of it, they did a hot sauce competition. <laughs> did you do it? I did. Hot ones. <laughs> Glass of milk. No, it wouldn't have mattered. wouldn't have mattered. It was, it was like drinking acid. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got to the second one 
and that was me done. Have uh, you tried? Have you tried the hot sauce? You know the hot ones, hot sauce. Oh, the, the, the one we uh, you maybe heard the bomb. Yeah, the that, bomb. That was the second one. So for the last what? round, he had a Carolina Reaper dry chili, oh, and you had to eat the, the chili. Like hottest chilies in the world it, until it? like last year. It was the hottest chili in the world, and then they produced this new thing Genetic, called probably. Aye, like, they did, uh, Chili X. Chili X, a new one. But if somebody was able to do that and they needed another round. They were going to make them dip that into the hottest sauce in the world and eat that. But it's cruel, like, properly cruel. Do you enjoy it? How far did... I did not enjoy that, no. Why'd you enter it? Because of, well, the, the cool kids were doing it. You know? Did you do the bomb? I, I got the bomb, yeah. The bomb That was the second one. Horrific. Horrible. And it came on a spoon, like a teaspoon. Aye. And you had a whole thing in it. It doesn't taste nice. No. There's nothing... There's the no first sauce wasn't bad. Aye. The second sauce was horrific. And it went... There was four... I think there was four hot sauces... Um, and then another one after that, but it, I wouldn't recommend it. I would never do it again. Yeah, I would yeah. definitely do it again. That's the, se- <laughs> that's the second hot sauce competition I've entered. I would like, I of course I would. Have you, would you ever do it, John? I I would actually. I would if I became a millionaire, I would say to you, I'm going to give you some money, but this is what I want you to do, mm-hmm. and make you eat hot sauce. Nah, uh, off a bone. Depends on the money. How much? Well, much would it take? Uh, good question. Take that much, no. <laughs> fifty quid. <laughs> we I'm, not, I'm not badly stuck, but I, I wouldn't take that much. Like fifty, Are we 50 quid, you would do. Nah, a hundred teaspoon. A teaspoon of hot sauce. Fifty quid. Nah, uh, hundred a bit more. Hundred. Uh, a bit warmer. A hundred in fivers, so it looks like a really big pile. <laughs> <laughs> nah, go again. What about a single hundred pound note? Other. No, no, that's a fucking hassle. I'd rather the five pound notes. <laughs> Um, I'd probably be close to about 200 200 quid Aye Would you do it? <laughs> <laughs> I just so happened to have 200 quid For 200 quid I would want you to eat a Carolina Reaper No I wouldn't do that would You, you didn't say that though Aye, You well, said like a spoonful of something A hot, hot sauce, sauce. Aye. Aye the bomb Okay well then two hot sauces For 200 quid Two spoons of hot sauce A half spoon of the first one And a full spoon of the second one I wouldn't either. Not for any money in the world. You want, you want three on the good? <laughs> <laughs> You're getting warmer. But yeah, the food was very good. The food was brilliant. He yeah. used all the hot sauces and different ones, but some what of them were quite sweet and stuff. What did you have? R- ribs and... We had... I can't even remember what we had. We had ribs um, as part of it. We had, No, we had steak. It was deadly. He did um, corn on the cob. But I love corn and cob in the but barbecue. Cut them, split them into like four sections, uh-huh. and cook them on the barbecue. I love that. Unreal. It's so, so good. good in the barbecue. It's so simple. Yeah, so simple. But Just gets that nice brilliant. char on yeah. it. Oh, really good. Away from me. And so then we good. had we like um, like we chicken gyros nearly. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And they were lovely. Chicken they gyros. What's that? Chicken. It's like uh, flatbread. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I actually, I made them last week. <laughs> right. Um, chicken gyros, but you cook the the flatbread, put it on the barbecue, and then you cook the chicken on a skewer, uh, okay. and then pull it off the skewer, and put it into the flatbread. Do you put it into the flatbread and then pull the skewer? Yeah. Very good. That sounds yeah. nice. I'll show you that photo later. Is, are they a top deck, <laughs> or is that just your? That's it. Uh, the llama. So the llama is far better equipped for the barbecue side of things. Aye. Um, so I think when I the last time I was there doing a bit of filming with you, there was like. I seen one of the Connors, both the Connors actually, they had like a wee fire pit or a barbecue that out the side door. Yeah. And they were maybe starting to use that. They got it custom built, you see. Ah, um, okay. Some fabrication company built it for them, whatever spec Connor wanted. Um, they made it for him. And then, yeah, the, the coals drop down in through underneath it. He just keeps pulling them in through. Um, so it's cooked over wood as well. That sounds lethal. Uh, Deadly. We're, we're going to chat to you about um, the wee idea that we have coming up. Um, it's kind of like mid Ulster Master Chef idea, right? So we, it's not actually fleshed out yet, but we're getting there with it. Um, so the premise of it we met we mentioned in the last podcast was we're doing similar to Master Chef. Um, us lads are going to film it. We're going to bring Joe Keane in. We're going to bring maybe another chef in. I was going to say like anybody makes something with a bone, you just like out of disgust. <laughs> Get I'm out! Not, I'm not the judge. I'm not a judge. Ah, you're not the judge. Dean Fergler hosts. Okay, I would like um, to judge some of the food. I would have more knowledge than you about <laughs> food. So, if anybody was going to be a judge, it would be me. Who is the boy on MasterChef that's not a chef? 
Uh, your bully fella. Job. He just, the bald guy. Oh, he's a restaurateur. Aye. He's, Aye how rest- do you get that job? I'm the restaurateur. <laughs> you just Aye. eat food. Just, You're a professional like food, food eater. I like food. <laughs> um, so anyway, the premise of it is um, that that's the premise. I suppose we're we're going into a local school. Uh-huh. And we're taking over their home economics department. Right. And we're going to do a Saturday potentially. This is this is up in the air, but one one day we're maybe doing the Saturday, and we're bringing in you know how many. Contestants we have say it's thirty for the crack with uh-huh. thirty. Right. We're going to do a couple of skills tests and that will weed out a few of them. And then the next Saturday, what's a skill like? Nice you know, skills like or different skills? Peeling a potato. How basic are you going here? We don't know yet. We don't right. know yet, Michael. Okay. You know, look, I'm just trying to chat. To you about <laughs> okay. It. I'd like some feedback. I want to chat to you. About okay. It. I don't need to be grilled. But no, apologies. Uh, no pun intended. We'll like I'm sure. mis- potentially, like we mystery boxes. You know, users you use come in and you just don't know what the ingredients are going to be. Stuff like that. And we maybe do auditions. You maybe come in, give a plate. Maybe, you know, we could have... Is this just your way of getting dinner? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> dinner made for me. Come on, Ryan, I'll make you a chicken wrap. My <laughs> <laughs> lads, we're not doing it. But we're thinking, we're thinking of doing that. We're thinking of bringing in people. Um, we're not sure yet. We haven't properly fleshed it all out. But it's going to be something like that. We're going to film it. And we're going to um, probably put it on YouTube. And it could be a charity aspect. I think it. it's class. I we're think that is unreal. We're going to try and get businesses involved. Right. We're going to get local produce, you know, you know, supplying us. Yes. And everybody's going to gain something from it if it's, you know, you know, exposure, if it's going to be, you know, we bring, we bring maybe some of the brands in, we bring some of the people in for interviews. Yeah. You know, local produce, local businesses, they can come in during the event. Mm-hmm. You know, me and Fergal could be off interviewing them in another wee room, wee area, while the cooking's happening, and we could chat about, class. you know, the area. John, can um, we do a cooking challenge, me and you? Uh, no. Why not? <laughs> He's so frightened. Because I win. <laughs> well, me and you will do a side challenge then, all right? Aye. We'll fucking do it then, aye. <laughs> can I judge this? He has heard it. Can I judge it? No, you're yes. a, are you not going to be a contestant? What? Well, for you guys? You're going to be a contestant on no, this. No, but I thought you guys... Oh, this is on the same day. Uh, I thought he just wanted a, one a of cooking the days, challenge. One of the days. I think we should do a journal. Well, I, I think Fergal won. You think he would win? Fergal did win. <laughs> and what in the future <laughs> it's his podcast I'll be, I'll be fucking showing you boys like, are you two sticks we'll of butter what are you making fish. curry <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll cook a boned fish um, you're not allowed to use an air fryer by the way for your cooking what? Oh, air fryer be allowed boy <laughs> as long as you fucking wash her after <laughs> after I fucking beat you four, four minutes in the fairy liquid and water you sort of fuck all that what are you thinking of cooking <laughs> Go oh, tell me now, what's the challenge? Let's, let's go, like. No, oh, tell me, what do you want to cook? What do you want I to don't cook? know, we could do the mystery box thing. Oh. We just come up with it ourselves, yeah. on the spot. Let okay. Joe Kane decide. We'll get Joe to decide. Joe and whoever the other chefs are, we'll get them to do a wee mystery box. It'll be, it'll be like a wee side quest for oh, us God, I hope in a it different is room. the most random thing on this planet. A sea urchin. I hope it's fish. Squid. <laughs> I be- cook squid. Beetroot. Ah, well, there and you a are. single garlic clove. <laughs> Oh, I love roasted beetroot. That's what I would do with that. Oh, do you? Aye. You could do like a supermarket sweep. You know, you could hide the ingredients around the school. <laughs> <laughs> just an old fresh, fresh chicken fillet just stuck to a ceiling. I found some potato crisps underneath, <laughs> underneath someone's desk. Anyway, <laughs> use this. I'm up for the fucking challenge, lad. I am. If we have to do a wee side challenge, I, I'll happily. I think we should. I think it'd be funny. I, I'm I'd happy. Ask do, do we vote on. <laughs> On, well, on this isn't live. On this isn't live. Like. Why is Joel not allowed to play? <laughs> Who? Why? Do, why don't you ever? You know, Jude. Jude, sorry. <laughs> Hello, Joel. Jude, Jude, Jude doesn't. Jude, Jude doesn't have a rivalry between us. Like you know, Fergal has been saying for fucking years that he's a better cook than me, and I, I completely disagree. It's fact. Do you cook? I cook a bit. I, I, like, I, like <laughs> I love a bit of cooking. Like I really do love a bit of cooking. Uh, you see, uh, it's the tattoos. You see, he looks like a chef. Uh, he looks like <laughs> a fucking chef. Yeah. You're like, guy. You do look like a chef. But you do chef. look like a restaurateur. I do. Oh. <laughs> I know how things should taste. Uh, that's, you're a fucker. That's like, <laughs> <laughs> He's a fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you all. But like, it, I, but knowing how things should taste and knowing how to get there are two uh, very different things. Well, you're like, okay, this, this learn, steak Mike. is not salty enough. Maybe I should add some mayo. <laughs> <laughs> look, we'll leave, we'll leave, we'll leave the talk until after, lads, all right? Okay? Okay, you're a fucking contestant. Good right. luck. Hope you do well. I'm not entering. You fucking are entering. No, no you have to enter. No, because people would do really well and really annoy me. What do you mean? What if there's like an undercover chef or some bastard? We're not doing that. Like we're not. Who else? Who else is in it? 
There's going to be just locals. There's local people have mentioned they'd love to be on it. That's it. That's because they can all cook. I don't want to be on. Yeah, I thought you can cook. I can cook, but <laughs> not a fucking chef. Like. They're going to be on. No, they're not chefs. It's home cooking. Master chef is home cooks. I, you are aware that I unfortunately am going to quit my job. I'm going to work in a restaurant from now until then and not tell anybody. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. I'm happy that's, for you to do that. Gonna, like I'm spend happy. my life doing. I'm happy for you to do that. That sounds great. Is I'm that also going to start. If you find out, are you going to disqualify me? No. No, I'm not. I'm going to start Nobody practicing will know. too. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's got to know. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, that event's happening. I um, think it could be very Sorry. cool for the area. And... Uh, I just wanted to fucking mention it so we can make a wee out. I think it's brilliant. I, yeah, I yeah. genuinely do. Fun. And I think it's great for the community as well, keeping Aye. everything local and everybody getting something out of it too. Yeah, enrich, enrich the area a bit. Enrich you know, the something area. Something different. Uh-huh. Something different. Something exciting. You know, not no, no offence to the Christmas market, like, but shite. Like. It's so bad. <laughs> wow. It couldn't be worse. So shit. Wow. Could I've never be been to it. That's how bad it is. You live in Marker and you've never been. They closed the beer tent last year too, didn't they? <laughs> what was that about? Don't know. Don't know. It's a pile of shit. No, do you know what I will say? And, th- and this isn't slagging the Christmas market off the people that are at it. No, let's get it's, into it. Come it's, on. It's <laughs> <laughs> no, like if I, you go to I the Christmas the market, vendors, you I think, suck. I think, all the ven- I think all the vendors are very good. The there vendors just should are be good. loads more. There should be more, you know, on offer on in a place like Marathal because I think Marathal is a fantastic town. It's and there's some too. amazing businesses, amazing people. And there should be a lot more people involved in it and I think there's some sort of access there that they're not getting they're not able to get in there is it, is it expensive I wonder what the price it is it shouldn't fucking cost a thing no because you're shouldn't. promoting the area like promoting the area and everybody's going to make a bit out of it exactly exactly mm. anyway we'll start our own we fucking will start our own we will we'll, we'll do, call, we'll do it up here. here we'll do it here <laughs> in, in this uh, room upstairs <laughs> yeah. we'll do it in workspace we'll take over workspace and just fucking fill that place Wait, I'm telling you, you do you know where the old market yard they did do it there one year didn't they? They did, and I would have been dead. Sad that they haven't done it since. That um, market yard is so much potential. Such a oh, Love biggest it. potential I think in Mid Ulster. Like at the I, moment. I picture it with like you know like a traditional butcher shop and maybe a wee cheese shop. And yeah, a lovely like fancy wine store. And stuff. Who owns yeah. that? The council owns that. We can't send it now, is he not? No, they just store things in there. So supposedly I looked into it years ago for an event, an event I was thinking of doing. I was thinking during um, lockdown, and I actually messaged the council, rang the council. And told them about this idea. So when everybody was in their houses and you could do fuck all, you couldn't go anywhere. I contacted them with like a little, little business plan, and this was nothing to do with making money for anybody. Not even shitty dozen, nothing. I said we should do a thing. We should create a, an outdoor cinema for the summer in there. Put up a big screen, and there is there is companies that come and they put on a big you know outdoor cinema. You come in your cars, you watch, but. You have an offer on in all the food places in Marafelt. You know, you get maybe 10% off that night on a, on a movie night. And everybody gains from it. The food places gain from it. Maybe there's ticket sales for the council towards, the, the, towards you know, the cinema, the I screen, suppose. No. And they said, no, uh, Cookstown did that a couple of years ago. And it didn't work? No. I they just, no, no, no. It's not that it didn't work. It's that someone else did it a couple of years ago. So? That's what I said. I goes, right. Outdoor cinema's a tough market. It is a real but tough have you tried? Have you but, tried but it? We, we looked into it. This wasn't a money spinner. Yeah. This was something for the community during lockdown uh, for people to enjoy, enrich the area. Uh, even if it broke even. And for the food places to get a really good turn as well. Uh-huh. You know, something for people sitting in the house fucking, their heads were wrecked. Like what's what's the downsides from what Yins have? When you we, so we, uh, we went to a meeting last year, Let's Go Hydro. Um, all A lot of the aqua parks were at it and they have one. Okay. Um, but he says the money you make off, off it is it's like well you have to pay the royalties yeah. for the movies and he says yeah. that just kills it absolutely kills it like they do Jaws and they'll do it in the water uh, which brilliant brilliant idea, brilliant idea. But we so also, everyone's in the water watching it yeah, but that's unreal <laughs> we also live in Ireland yeah, yeah kind of. oh, immediately immediately yeah. like as soon as you're in the water you're not terrified you're just like this is freezing <laughs> yeah. you know but my, my idea was not to be um, a, a big business for the year it was it, or to be a part of a business for a season it was mm-hmm. literally for like a week it's not massive is it the market yard no it's that's what massive, I was thinking but yeah. it would still have a lot of room to fit I would say 50 cars would filled, you filled with two I three people know. Would it? Aye. I'd bring the van and park in the front row. Bring the fucking van. So you're tall. Sideways. Like a tall person. <laughs> yeah. a bus. There's not even a, a back gig. window in my van. Like you can't see through it. <laughs> but anyway. Or a lorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am the person which is 
why the council don't support local events. Uh, my first thought there is, how could I really? How could I fuck that yeah. up on them? <laughs> a lie, definitely. Just park up in front of her. Yeah. Right, we're on. But it's a good idea. I support you. I just, I will. It's not happening because Cookstown did it a couple of years ago. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> what did Cookstown do? I don't fuck. We toyed with the idea of having like a Christmas markety type thing. At the jungle as well. That's we might, a good idea. Well, we might still go down that road. The parking kills us. Uh, parking yeah, you know, you know, we Well, we've extended our car park. Uh, uh-huh. But it's also hard to get people to come to something. So, essentially, if we bring in like a load of food companies, it eats into any of the business for the Connors. Ah, yes. You know, like, we that's have a guy true. that comes in and does donuts. Um, yeah, and that's grand because we don't sell donuts and we don't really yeah. use sweet food. Um, but if you move into anything else, and then how do you get... Enough, conflict. How do you get enough other people? Like, what trades are there that they could be doing there that aren't selling food or drinks? Essentially, yeah. mm, you know, yeah. making bracelets and things like that. That's grand, but you can't have fifty or sixty. And if you only have four or five, it doesn't really make an atmosphere around it. Beer tent. Now you're talking. <laughs> free taxis. <laughs> that in makes Marfelt. too too much atmosphere. Put on free. Put on free taxis. See, we're full of kids. Thousands of kids. No mm. ID, no entry, lad. <laughs> 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 Alcohol events just doesn't mix well. Yeah, Doesn't no, I well. agree. You're, you're bringing on more hassle for yourself. You're just right. Keep it around the hens and all. Yeah. Hens and all that crack. Random questions. <clears throat> We're still in the quick fire. <laughs> oh, we <laughs> fuck. We fucking must be. Because <gasps> I still have questions here. We haven't got through them all. Um, I might skip a few. Anyway, if, like here's a good one. Um, if you were given enough money, what sort of business would you want to run? Oh, good, idea. good question. Oh. And this doesn't mean here's a million go for. Well, it, it kind of does, but within a sensible reason. You know, what, what What business do you think... I'd love to open something like that right now. I John, you should answer this afterwards as well. Uh, Sorry. I love... I absolutely... Like, genuinely, people like say, oh, you're only... I absolutely love my job. I genuinely uh-huh. love my job. Yeah. The problem with... And I, we spoke about it the last time too. Outdoor activity centres and aqua parks and stuff like that there in the country that we live in, you are never going to be a millionaire from it. Yeah. It's not going to happen. And in about... 10, 15 years, they might not exist because of the claim culture in this country. Mm-hmm. It, it just might not be there. Because of the what, sir? Claim culture in claim. this country. Insurers are terrified. Terrified. God, I thought that was more of an American thing, not here. No, America, followed by Ireland. Even England's not even nearly as bad as us. And really? over, the, over the border's worse than us, and then it's us. Ireland love a wee... Oh, chip my, chip, uh, kick my toe on that metal there. You know, no. insurance is... Colossal. Yeah. But where, Colossal. Are you, where are you getting to here? Like what's the, that's so I would I would if I if money was absolutely no objective and I could self insure, I'd be doing what um I'd You're do already now. doing. Yeah. But take take yourself away from that. What, if, what, if what's the next thing you would do? A different business. Doesn't need to be the same thing you're doing or, or make it better or make it different. It's like if you have passion, you know, you're talking about your food there, or is there another passion? So, you're like, I'd love to open a restaurant, I'd love to do this, I'd love to do that. I'd like to the all them things are headache. I'd love to open a bar. Passion. Mm. But trying to staff them is a nightmare. Yep. Yeah, of course. Trying to deal with that. And you're always going to get it. You're always going to get the asshole. You know, it doesn't matter if you have the nicest bar in the world, you're going to get the asshole. Yeah. yeah. Like John. Yeah. Um, I'm quite nice in bars. Like, but that's, that's the thing. You're dealing with every, every single business is a headache. Yeah. I would love, uh, you know, them big American RV like massive ones. Yes. And I would love to just drive across America and sell some sort of food from it. Lethal. And different place food every day. Oh, and if you had cool. somebody decent on social media. Right. And I would love you ever to see do Chef, it. the film? Uh huh. Yeah. I love that film. Class. One of my favourite films. You know, if you could do, do something like that, I would love to do it like barbecue style and cook big like just do um what do you call it? I'd, I'd name it ribs and bibs. Give them a massive big bib and one massive rib and just serve it to them like that. Yeah. Take away. You know, and then you go into the next town, you're doing something slightly different. Next one, you're doing something slightly different. Like a short rib, like a big beef. Yeah, oh, well, class, yeah, class. Call it yeah. Irish cuts. Give them a tomahawk. Just mostly bone-in foods mm. um, for people. <laughs> people. Yeah. <laughs> I love you know, know, you can do that. Hour. Like I think I'll be class and Aye. sleep. Sleep in the RV. Go and see everywhere. Sounds lethal, lad. Why not? You just know, do it. Just friend do of mine's it. had an idea, but you know, uh, in this country, when you have like our barbecues are just like. Your burgers, your sausages, your Ugh, no. like a hot dog. No, no, yeah. they're not. They're not. You're barbecuing wrong. You're doing it wrong. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let me finish it. Right. <laughs> like a bit of steak, a bit of chicken. And that he was like, why don't people serve that at restaurants? Because it's like all your meats. 
It'd uh, be fucking unreal. That'd be class. That's what I think Moe's Grill should have done something like that. And you go in and you can just order what you want and cook it in the middle of the room. Yeah, that that's a great brilliant. idea. I think that would be class. Actually you know, see the grill. See the grill, yeah. Mm. Like that place that I was talking about in Dublin. You go in, you pick whatever you want, you know, and you know that's what they're going to get. And they disappear in the back, but there's like a, a glass screen so you can see in and you can see all the chefs in action. That's so wow. cool. Yeah. What do you that's call nice. that place? Soul Seafood. Now, you have to remortgage your house. It's I think it's Michelin. Um, oh, is so it? Me and wow. Amy went down and I think we had no change out of 200. Yeah. But now we got a seafood tar. So it was like oysters, lobster, crab, oh, mussels, wow. everything. Um, All your favourite raw fishes and cooked fishes. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Do you ever do three levels in Belfast? That's a good, I've good never, day. No, I've never. It's the, uh, oh, what do you call it? Tapanyaki, is it? No. What's it? They cook in front of you. Like oh, the oh that's the aye, sticks that's the stone. same as the, the that restaurant in America, you know, the chain. Uh, the, there's one in Belfast. Yes. Real, real good days crack. Yeah, the food's very good. It's not like Michelin standard. Aye, but aye. The entertainment value of it. I've heard good. I've heard good things. What do you actually. think about your food you having to cook your own food when you go to restaurants? Like are you talking like the hot stone? Aye. Ah, uh, don't bother me. It's a novelty. A bit lazy. <laughs> you got to brought you out an air fryer you don't know how to work a stone <laughs> well if they used the air fryer and then fed me I'd be happy I'd pay for it it's cooked like, but if yeah. I'm sitting cooking it myself like, like what am I doing here fair anyway um, oh, actually, this is just ra- this is probably just random thoughts of mine actually not even questions uh, Guinness tour of Marafelt I think that would be a good idea like ten, the 10 pubs of Marafelt and we do a Guinness tour and we rate each of the Guinnesses and each of the pubs so every pub has its own rating and we do it out of 10 you know, like a 9.8. Where is the best Guinness? It's here. It is. It is. Oh, no, it's 100%. It's here, but on, on a Thursday evening, it's Bryson's Front Bar. Why? Because Bryson's Front Bar on a Thursday evening is always flowing. Is it still flowing, aye? I, I think music? so. Is there still music in it? Is there music in Don't know. I'm not sure. Don't know. I haven't, I haven't been. been. Thursday I, is always busy, to be fair. Uh, I don't go out in Marafelt anymore. I don't uh, go out anymore. No, I don't go out that much anymore. No, I have to Kinda say. Kind of boring. Oh, here's one. Uh, why don't you like money more? Um, you recently moved to Marafelt. <laughs> the the house just around the corner from well on the same row actually as my parents uh, came up for rent I, I was reared out there mm-hmm. and then my uh, grandparents actually lived just in the house between us as well uh, class part of the world so I moved back to be closer to my family John very good well, that's nice. welcome back to the time big lad thanks, thanks here what would you change about Marafelt um so many things like start, <laughs> so start us off. Start us off. Like there, it, it's it, it's not a great town. I mean, I love Markerfeld. I love Markerfeld. <laughs> I'm going to put it out there. Not offended, like, but I'm going to lay it out there. I wouldn't right? say it's not a great town, but anyway. Where can you get free parking in the town? Uh, my house. Okay. You're also the sort of person who doesn't enjoy a walk. You go and's got like two bob and birds, a Chinese and a pizza all delivered to your house. I go walking every day. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, walking to your oh, front door. The, oh, to be fair, I wouldn't walk into the town. You wouldn't walk into the town. Nah. <laughs> I walked into the town for this podcast. Sure, and I sure live a mile outside the sure town. Sure, didn't I get a? Uh, didn't I get a house closer to the town? So we're closer to the town, but I still drive into the town. Like whatever we, we were off, you know where our offices were. Huh? He drove to work every day. Of course it is. You are joking. Man. Every day. I didn't want to be lit. <laughs> oh, you'd be quicker walking. That's another thing. The traffic in the town. The traffic. See if you're trying to come from Moneymore into Macafelt. Oh, nightmare. Disaster. Moneymore into Macafelt. Um, Five o'clock. You're sitting there 25 minutes. I go the other route. I go out um, the back road that takes you yeah, across. I avoid Macafelt centre whenever, whenever I can, like, to be fair. It's <laughs> badly designed. Yeah. yeah. So I think if I could change my Macafelt. That's just the roads, like, but anyway. There's a few places that are a bit run down. The Market Yard. Like, that's, market that's a big a, one. It's a sad state of affairs. It really Did is. Did you know the story behind that? I think I have a bit of an inkling of that. Is uh, there's a man or a family that own the Market Yard, and supposedly most of the family has passed away, and there's one descendant, like, over in the state somewhere, and they can't get in touch with him. And without his signature or his acknowledgement of, of, of that yard or that he's happy to sell it on or, or give it up, they can't do anything with it. You're joking me. Swear to God. That's I heard mad. that years ago. I was chatting to one of the state agents about I it. I am going to forge that signature. Uh, and I'm going to say, you can sell it. Do you remember our old only office? only to Michael Hogan. <laughs> our old office looked into it. Uh, we were literally just every day like, what a fucking disappointment. I like them we like archways, isn't there? Uh, like, yeah, I think that would be classic. Cool. Did you ever see the redevelopment plans? They were thinking. No. People had started making 3D re- redevelopment plans just to try and get a bit of talking about it. They, it was kind of similar to what you talked about, like a 
like a kind of markety place where yeah. people could go in and rent or rent out areas to, to sell their different things. And but like that's that's brilliant. Like lethal. imagine what that would do for the local yard. Exactly. Imagine what that would do. Like take your fish man down there. His stuff's oh, yeah. brilliant. It's stuff I like four fifty for two big chunks of fish. Like that's good value. That's a really yeah. good value. You know, yeah. and, and it was good stuff. You must be getting kickback from him, are you? I'm not. I've never even met him before that day. <laughs> I, he actually he takes card. That blew my mind. Hi. I thought all fish men were the drug dealers. Don't take card. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you say? All fish men are drug dealers. <laughs> <laughs> it's like barbers. Chinese, well. yeah, yeah. cash money, man, cash money. The Chinese just love gambling. Don't they? We had a few barbers contact us and told us don't, don't ever do that again. Really? No, no. <laughs> that wouldn't be I go, don't care, <laughs> don't care. Um, you pay cash for here's this. Here's one: yeah. housing crisis, the price of rent, madness, absolutely madness. fucking crazy. Is there a house for rent within ten miles of Marfald for under seven fifty at the moment? Nah, not a chance. No, and if it is, it's an absolute mess. Yeah. Mine's was pretty cheap. What's your rent? Before I moved out, I, I don't know if I'm allowed to say. What do you mean you're not allowed to say? Because someone's living in it. Your now. man, your man put up the prices as soon as I left. But that's okay. Hmm. He's a he's a Chancer. landlord. He can do <laughs> <laughs> you must have been doing something to him to keep that price down. Anyway, just a good lad. Nah. Um, it was four fifty whenever I left. Oh, you good. are shitting me. But, it, but that was but it's one, only one bedroom. One bedroom. One bedroom. There's only. One of me, and <laughs> uh, that was a good fucking price. Was that a great price? That's a great, great price. price. Do you pay your own heating on top of that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's still a good price. But the heating is because I was in the middle. Mm-hmm. My house freezing. Now. Hey, not like freezing. Barely stuck on the heating. But like, if I if I paid what I was paying in rent on a mortgage in fifteen years, I'd be mortgage free. Hi, <laughs> you're paying. It's mad, like it's, it's crazy. It is. It's crazy. But like, disgusting. Like. It, but I get it. I get where a landlord's coming from. Because the price of everything's up, it's why would the price yeah. of rent not be up? You know, but that's never going to come down. That's the problem. No, that's it. You know, and like we, I work in a private business, wages are all going up in April, and we're sort of we're, like we didn't increase our price this year because everybody's feeling the pinch, everybody's getting the squeeze, yeah. and we don't want to be adding any more to it. Well, put it this way: if we put the price up, people wouldn't come. And to be fair to them, I'd be going fair enough. You yeah, know? because money is tight. I don't know how private businesses are going to make it through the next There's a lot years. to be said about the government and how they've ran the, the country, I think, to be honest. It's, it's cre- like, you look, some of them kids are going up by, like, nearly 20%. Mm. Um, I think the one of the age brackets moving from, like, five to six pound or something, that's 20%. If you were on a salary of 40 grand and you got a 20% pay raise, straight away you're nearly at 50 grand. Mm. Like, companies can't support that. No. Private companies, anyway. Yeah. The government no. companies can, because they'll just run us into it. Hundreds of trillions more debt. They completely fucked us over. Like to be honest with you, the government. They did, an and it's not joke. you know. I, I'm all for wages increasing and all that yeah, stuff as yeah. well. But where's the money coming from? Yeah, you know, because I don't have it. In my Do you know actually <laughs> one of the reasons that uh, me and Fergal and Jude and all we've all chatted about it, like enriching the area. I want. Mara Felt, I don't know you like Mara Felt shit, lad, but I, I didn't say. I that. think it's great. <laughs> I, I think do think love. Great. I love Mara Felt. But one of one of the core things that I personally would love to achieve in the next few years, this podcast or not, is to bring bring more exposure to the businesses in the area of Mara Felt. Some to, incredible businesses to fuel to fuel the businesses, fuel their you know their sales, fuel their revenue. To apply the to, to be able to pay people more to get the salaries up and yeah. up and up. Like I'm sure there's, there's good salaries in the area, but here there is, and there. there's good. There's money in but, Marfelt, but there's plenty of businesses there that could be doing better, mm. and there's ways that could be, that they could do better yeah. with the likes of obviously sale and marketing and more exposure. Like so, like I know the Marfelt or the middle for chef is like one idea to start that thing, but there's other things. As well that I've planned in the future, like that I, I like that's great. But but th- that, that's you're you're a one man army at the moment. I know, well. I know. But uh, the core, I think, the core thing that everybody and anybody should actually f- like try to figure out in a place like Marafelt or Northern Ireland is how do we get salaries up? You know, how do we how do we like make, you need the money coming in? You need the money coming in, and the way you get money coming in is you fuel the fucking businesses, and you have them doing so well. You have them, you know, being appealing to everybody, marketed so well. The sales are doing really well. I know that sounds like a hard task, but, but, but I that, think that's the only way you can from the ground up is to fuel, you know, salaries. What are you laughing at? It's just I've been watching you doing your hand movements. They're fucking brilliant. They look, they look Italian. <laughs> but that is, that's what I want to achieve in this area. You know, if the podcast can do that in some way, brilliant. But I, I think 
I think that people. You, you don't want it. You don't want a good salary. <laughs> I think. Uh, I think you're not. You're not getting any salary. Though. It's okay. The business is. No cha- money for you. I'm gonna chat to your work no next week, <laughs> and they're gonna fucking cut your salary down, lad. Anyway, the businesses that sell luxury items, I think, are going to be the ones that get hit the hardest over mm, the next 100%. few years. But I also think the bar of where a luxury item is at is going to be moved. So, yeah. like, people might stop going for a coffee. Or people might, you know, the likes of activity like I like we run. You know, splash is a luxury. People people go to us because they want to go to us. Yeah. They don't go to us because they have to. They have to buy a freezer. They have to put food on the table. You know, so your Tesco's and your Icelands and all that stuff is going to keep going because they've no choice. Yeah. But they're then going to go. Okay, well, look, I really need it this month, so I might have to cancel my gym membership. Mm-hmm. Gym membership's not a luxury item. It's good for your health. But it also is another expense that they're saying to themselves, I could be doing without that. I'll just yeah. go for a run instead. And that's when every business starts to go, oh shit. Mm-hmm. The big companies start getting bigger. Your Tesco's, your Lidl's, your uh, places that are selling fridge freezers that are required and stuff like that. They're all doing great. Mm-hmm. And then you've got the small companies, the family owned companies and stuff like that who are going, we can't compete with that. Yeah, The rich mm-hmm. get richer. Yeah. Tell me this, John. You're a man about town. How's Starbucks doing? And Mark? Fuck Starbucks. <laughs> How, how can you not say fuck Starbucks though? Like, do you know what I mean? I like, agree. I, 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 look, look, I don't know how Starbucks are, sh- are set up in a town um, financially or if there's maybe someone who's took on that franchise locally. Fair enough. I, I genuinely hope they do well as a person business wise. But in terms of everybody, uh, all the coffee shops in the area, I don't agree with something like that coming into somewhere like Marafeld. I want as many homegrown businesses. But we need coffee more shops. coffee shops in Marafeld. <laughs> <laughs> That's one I've always said that. I've always said that. <laughs> These are fucking starting. <laughs> where where is your go to for a coffee? Good question. Um, so Ground does the best coffee. Slims does the second best and is a lot more comfortable. So you've listened to the episode last episode. Uh, yes, I think yes. you're trying to fucking tease me here. Uh, but yeah. Slims, Slims would be my place to go because it's co- it's it's very comfortable, and the coffee's still pretty decent. It's good seating. Aye, aye. Sometimes. So I feel like ground is like an airport, and it's very hard to sit on. Will it. you be back at Splash this year, sitting in the balcony, in the nice warm. Aye, it's oh lovely. yeah, you used to do that. Spot, didn't yeah. you? Upgraded Wi-Fi, so we did. Yeah, oh, you just needed it. Yeah. Oh, oh I know. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> you just needed it. Like, <laughs> I was sitting, like fucking. We we ran had an antenna with me last day. <laughs> we ran the first year at Splash. You'll not believe this. Uh-huh. We ran the entire first season at Splash with zero electricity on site. <laughs> zero. <laughs> no electricity on site. Did you sit in the office with abacuses? We like didn't have an office. We had, you know, the changing rooms. Aye. That was it. Fuck. The first day we opened, we had two shipping containers and an aqua park. And we had to take all the wetsuits and uh, buoyancy. It's our wetsuit order hadn't come in. So I was pulling in wetsuits, naming from anybody who had a wetsuit. I was borrowing it yeah, off them. Yeah. Everybody Just ringing in. boys up. Uh, everybody went in in a different wetsuit. Like, <laughs> there was, somebody was wearing mine. Uh, <laughs> You were just taking it off here. Here, get, the, here, get that off you here. Good time, yeah? Get that off. We had to take everything out of the shipping containers to get all the people in. Aye. One uh, Boys and one, the girls and another. Brilliant. Then once they were back out, we could put everything back into it. It was mad. Like, That's class. I used to have to take all the walkie-talkies and everything home every night and charge them at my house Aye. and then bring them back to work the next day. <laughs> That's did, you ever in, did you ever invoice Splash for that? No, I didn't. I'll get them again. Ah, uh, you need to. Um, here, I've got a... <laughs> This is random as fuck. Are we still on the quick fire? <laughs> aye, aye. Um, I've got riddles. I've got riddles here. Oh, I, I hate riddles. riddles. I, I mean, love wee riddles. Do you like wee riddles? I like wee riddles. Like riddle. I'm shy that. Oh, I saw my uh, I speak without a mouth and I hear without ears. What am I? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll repeat that. A MacBook Pro. Echo. An e- Serious? Yes, it is. There you go. Ding, ding, ding. Have it. Get me a Guinness. <laughs> I have to leave. The have a wee cocktail. I'm sure. Here, we'll get a wee pot cocktail out. <laughs> I'll give them a wee go. You're having one, obviously. Uh, no, no, it's for you, Stray. Oh, fuck off. Get, get them out. Get them out there. Do we have any glasses? How do you open them? Do you just sink them? It's it's a it's yeah. a, a can. It says, do have, a, it says it? have a ball. <laughs> uh, do, is it, do you need to shake, shake well? Grab one That's there. it. Just, sh- just shake well. Do you, do you want one? I'm grinding. Grab. Oh, and a woman owns his company. Should I'm just going to try it to woman. What? It says woman owned on the Oh, I thought you knew. I'm glad. I'm glad they told us that. It's also she made in America. An American oh, I woman. I don't want it now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Only local. America or the woman, I don't know. You didn't shake. Ah, oh, fuck. A spice margarita cocktail. I think that was the worst flavour. So Why did you do that? Because it said spicy and I know you're a wee sensitive mouth. <laughs> <laughs> 
You're really sensitive <laughs> mouth. That's oh, hilarious. Me and maybe sensitive okay. mouth. I'm going to spell it all around me. I have a bad arm. Right, while we're, oh. while we're yeah. cracking these open, uh, what has keys but cannot open locks? Piano. Very good. Jesus. That is. <laughs> That's good. Very good. I'm tall when I'm young and I'm short when I'm old. What am I? A match? Mm, no, close. a candle. Very good. He is. You're good at riddles. Uh, I like what you riddle. I was, uh, there you go. Oh, okay. Um, the more you take, oh, fuck. the more you leave behind. What am I? <laughs> Footsteps. <laughs> Fucking hell. How do you know these? I, I just... <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? What's this supposed to be? <laughs> Chilly language. Woman owned. Who's the woman that owns this? <laughs> needs, what a word. Who are you? She needs talking to. USA. Mm. Have a ball. Have a ball, my hole. <laughs> oh, fuck. Are you supposed to mix that with something? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I will. It says enjoy chill. They've been sitting there for two hours. <laughs> I don't think they. I'm a chill. <laughs> It's actually tasty. Like. Do you ever have the wee shots from Marks and Spencers? No. no. They're like gut health ones. Oh yes, yes. They do one that's uh, ginger and turmeric. Oh, I've had I've had those. They're deadly. No, I'm I, not I, trusting I, them. That is, is that fucking the disgusting. I don't, think, so, I don't think they should be sold. <laughs> well, he couldn't find the price of them. Uh, I'll not rat them out in case he gets sacked, but uh, he couldn't find the price of them, so he just ran them through as a quid. Holy shit! Thirteen point five. Jesus. Fucking heartburn. <laughs> It's that's Chinese, so bad. The Chinese <laughs> was giving me heartburn already. Uh, here's the next one. <laughs> I'm light as a feather, yet the strongest person can't hold me for more than a few minutes. What am I? Fuck me. Come on. Give us a harden. Fuck off. Are you boys? Fire? No. Right, let me say it again. <gasps> I'm light as a feather, yet the strongest person can't hold me for more than a few Your minutes. Your breath. Very good, Fergal. Well, oh, that's because he did that. He All right. Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> you always need like a wee visual aid or something. Oh don't you? well, yeah. Sign language and dyslexic. Um, <laughs> what has a head and a tail but no body? <laughs> Why? I want to see. Actually, what say? I, what what has, has a head and a tail but no body? Or heads or tails, boys? Oh, Jesus Christ! Coin. <laughs> coin. I have a real good one. But I'd need to just check the wording of it if I'm allowed to use my Look phone. it up there and I'll uh, I'll get on to the next one here. Ah, right, okay, this one here. Um, I'll ask you boys because he'll get this one. Um, what is full of holes but still holds water? A golf course. The <laughs> 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 worst. Did you ever see that scene? Where he's like... Uh, Everybody in this room is now stupider. <laughs> <laughs> Since you said that, that is one of the stupidest things I've ever heard. Everybody in this room, just for listening, is now stupider. Since you said that, uh, it's a sponge. I, does mine not work though? A golf course, it has lots of holes and wrong. Water. The more you look at it, the less you see. What is it? I've no. not. Yeah, has to be. Yeah. The sun, I would have gone with the sun. the sun. The more you look at it, the less you see. What is it? I think it's the sun, and your right, answer's wrong. Hey, here, you're there and have a fucking look at the sun, you tell me. Here, you if, you go there, if you go out there now, you'd be right. It's yeah. dark. It's darkness. It's darkness. It's darkness. Oh, holy fuck. The more you look at it, the less you see. What is it? Darkness. Darkness. Here's one here. Okay. Okay. I actually don't know what this means. Anyway, what comes once in a minute? Me. Oh, no, no. I, <laughs> <laughs> no that's, that's three times. <laughs> Fuck no, you get better. Um, what? Sorry, where's that at? Disappeared on me. Um, what comes once in a minute, <laughs> twice in a moment, <laughs> but never in a thousand years? It's a letter. M? Very good. It is. Fantastic. Fuck, this is still rolling, boys. I've got another I've, bit here. I have one for you here. Oh, I go for it. Great. Right. Where'd it go to? It's gone. Way up there. The man who invented it doesn't want it. The man who bought it doesn't need it. And the man who needs it doesn't know it. Say that again. 
The man who invented it doesn't want it. The man who bought it doesn't need it. And the man... Where do you go to? And the man who needs it doesn't know it. Condom. No. <laughs> close. That's not close. It's <laughs> because <laughs> <laughs> you said man. I was like, it's a wee bit gender, like, but yeah. I, I don't know. Oh, I have no idea. One more time first. Oh, no, your phone's away. The man who invented it doesn't want it. The man who bought it doesn't need it. And the man who needs it doesn't know it. What is How, it? What did you say? What is it? So what's the last bit? The man who mm. needs it doesn't know it. Come on, John. Time? No. Don't know. He's out of it. Huh? He's out of time, so he is. Dead. 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 I don't know. <laughs> coffin. Oh, fuck. A coffin. Oh, yes, I've heard that one before. Mm-hmm. Here, I was close enough there. Not the condo on the time. <laughs> <laughs> the time. The time. <laughs> the time. <laughs> yeah, Hi. I, I disagree. <laughs> I wasn't close. Enough. What's our uh, what's our what's our thoughts on buzz balls? These? Awful, awful. Uh, Never make them. Whoever this woman is, stop making them. Especially this flavor. I love I the way. See where she's from. I love the way there's no use by date on there. Like, she needs a rest. Is there not? No. <laughs> there is. I can see it here. Oh, oh 2029. It says 2023 for me here. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it says 22nd of the fifth, 23. No, it doesn't. That's 29. 23, lad. Mine says 29 on it. Look, am I wrong? Mine says 33. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the, that's not the bear, That's not the use you spy like a campy. It's the book class number. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but mine mine's exactly the same as yours, except it says 29. Anyway. So 22nd okay. of the 5th, is that? Yep. Mine says 33. Mine says 22nd of the 5th, 23. That's not the use yours. Spy. Must be worse than ours. <laughs> Mine is pumped. Mine is so tangy. Like, can't be it, lads. Buzz ball. I hope the fucking company isn't going to thirty three. <laughs> Should be shut down in twenty four. But there, there was actually it's like once. It's <laughs> disgusting. There was ones that actually sounded nice. Like they do like we were I, and stuff. I can imagine, but you obviously picked the fucking worst one. Chili I mango. Actually, I only left mm, in one of them, nice. and I said to him, "What are they?" And he's like, "I can't find that there. I'll just run through as a quid." So I go straight to the bar. I'll take three of them. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got a few videos here. It's all they're all based around splash actually. This is gonna play. Right. Just chat this a wee bit about I mean, just chat a wee bit more about splash. Oh lovely. This is the breathing. Yeah, that's meditation, uh, with Amanda Brennan. This was lovely. I did I did that today. And then it what you go good, out? It? Really peaceful. Like Come you go out for a wee swim then. Go out for a swim. Yeah. Um, this is obviously one done another day. This wasn't today, but we went in today and we were doing like meditation and breathe work. And she was walking us through. It was about an hour long. Breathe the work. The meditation. <laughs> breath stuff. work. Breath work. Breathe work. <laughs> breathe work doesn't work. Um, it was very very good though. I really really enjoyed it. it. An uh, hour of meditation. Uh, yeah, it was around. It was guided. You know, you were listening to her, um, and then we but it was kind of we bit of yoga here and there. It was quite nice. Like I struggled. You know what? The, I the feedback actually from the group, and it was John brought it up, was that they would actually nearly like an hour and a half of meditation. Yep. No way. Amanda is unreal. She really is. I did say I, I wanted long. I must go to go to the next one. You Do you know, know why? Maybe so I wanted the hour. It was because it took me. It takes me a wee while to drift off for the likes of that. Do you go for a sleep. Uh, no, I didn't. That's what I mean. It takes me a wee bit longer to really like uh, drift off because you it, you see when you're meditating, like it takes you, it takes people different time, no, you, I, you know, to, to drift off. No, I struggle with meditation. I've tried it. You do a bit of meditation now. I've done a few of the class. I I really struggle to do it at Splash, but only because I work there. Aye, that's uh, true. Aye, but no, like a, Amanda is fantastic. I've done. I did. Uh, Wim Hof one uh, mm. with a girl Hannah. She's from well, originally from Derry, London, Derry. Um, Very correct of you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, I've seen her on Instagram. Yeah, Hannah. Um, mm. She's very good. Yeah, she's she's over in the Alps working directly with Wim at the moment. Ah, me, she's so. like a qualified yeah. Wim Hof instructor. I think she's the most qualified in this country, and she must be one of the yeah. top in the UK. There now, was right? a guy in the North Coast that did it as well, but I think he mm. stopped. He's given it up, has he? Yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure, no. Are you, do, do you know no, more? Just laughing, just give it up, shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 I went up to it. I don't know if he gave it up for that reason. 
but I just don't think he does it anymore. <laughs> right. I, I went to it. Uh, I, I'll be honest. I went to it. This was just after the new building had opened, and we were sort of looking for clients. So I booked myself in with the sole uh, aim of getting her to come to Splash to deliver it. Uh, but it was obviously it was a group class, and then you were into an ice bath. So the only time you got like one to one was an ice bath. That. So You're I got so in, and I went. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a venue. I need you to come and see. <laughs> and chatted away to her for me a minute or a minute and a half in the ice bath. And then next week she called down, got her booked in. Very good. Three totally. balls, boys. <laughs> you know how to fucking do it. God, you can pitch under pressure for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather do that. Like, so anyway. <laughs> today when they were videoing me after, like I'm not good on, on camera at all. Uh, and whenever they videoed me, Katrina was just like, you literally need some sort of training. Like you're the worst person I've ever seen in front of Did camera. you get interviewed today? Eh? Uh, I, I get interviewed. But it took, like, honestly, it took about 25 minutes for me. And it's the, like, your photographer is brilliant. Yeah. And Katrina's very good. <laughs> I just couldn't stop laughing at it. Uh, and then a dog, a random dog appeared and stuff. And that distract. I was just like a four year old with ADHD. <laughs> I've seen the dog, actually. Aye. The big mangy looking one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, What's that, a local dog or what? Yeah, uh, he lives in the farm up around the corner. Get the f- he, uh, <laughs> he won't let anybody groom him. Uh, he doesn't look like he, he needs a groom, like, <laughs> yes, yes, he, he needs does. a fucking bath. It's actually a man that uh, worked at the jungle, or still works at the jungle. Um, it's her dog, so nah, she doesn't let any, it doesn't let anybody, it'll clean not it. let it's, it's a friendly enough dog. Uh, um, it doesn't like a bath, aye, uh, pretty much. I'm sad. It's farm dog. Here's another one. Oh, nice, it's a bit of yoga. Oh, slower. They're doing that too quick. Because somebody's gonna get injured. <laughs> this is this Yogi. is Laura. Yeah, uh, Laura and Nilla Yogi events. Very good. Or, uh, Yogi Diaries. Yogi Diaries, isn't it? Yeah. This is one of our events, so it's a Yogi event. Very good. Uh, yeah, there's is brilliant. But that's that's Amanda there Amanda actually. Uh, but yeah, we do. They do like a half day retreat, uh-huh. so they'll. Uh, basically block book out the whole upstairs area they'll we'll do a brunch and everything for them but like in fairness to them they are to the second so whenever they arrive they're like we want food at 14 minutes past 10 Aye. but uh, you have to cook all in the um, restaurant the restaurant's obviously sort of attached uh, that's the two of them there very good um, so you have to cook in complete silence Aye. Like not a pin drop because yeah. they're doing their sort of meditation and things and like that. Like yeah, has yeah. to be complete yeah. silence, um, which I quite enjoy. I jump in the kitchen and give them guys a hand. Yeah. Um, it's, it's actually good fun. Yeah. How, you, how can you cook in complete silence? You're just making salads or? No, you're doing like full brunch options. They yeah. they had uh, their own personalized uh, menu, so they had. Wow. <laughs> no, I had a joke there, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he goes, how do you, you cook them? Like, don't, don't, don't talk to each other. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't terrible. matter. Uh, <laughs> I, so they, they had a lot of like um, granola bowls and stuff like that. Oh, um, right, yes. too bad. It's just yeah, a, you know, the slurping. Very nice. You were probably doing a lot of these events then during the off season that the, the inflatable isn't up the splash. That's uh, so now we're we're into a difficult time of the year because the aqua park will be going back up in the next month. Oh brilliant. And people are mad keen to book out book our space upstairs. Aye. But realistically at the weekends we can't really do it now. Yeah. Because we, we need another building. Yeah. Um but that'll be more happen. during the week, during the day. Sort of stuff. Uh, so we can still do evenings. Um like a lot of Amanda stuff's through the week. Um yeah. she doesn't do an awful lot at the weekends with us. Um she I think she's got seven kids maybe. Yeah. So she's busy. Whoa. Yeah. Ten lots. plus. Yeah. Um so uh the evenings is perfect for us and you know it's actually a nicer scene as well. Yeah. Like especially um, coming to the summertime as well, the evenings would be uh, it was actually really nice today. The rain was beating off the building, like, and you were like meditating, and it was just like it was, it was like rainfall. Was, uh, like, rainfall. Oh, cool. That's that's what we were aiming for. I know. I made sure I play that bit to the boss because he wanted a nice blue sky day. Yeah, um, didn't need it. We, <laughs> Lovely. We, we couldn't do it. You just this time of the year, like, we needed to get this package out. You know. Mm. I concur. How More videos videos? for us. Never you. Eh? Never you mind. Never you fucking mind. <laughs> Right, well, there's that, a bit of yoga. Um, that sounded good. I'd love to go to that at some stage. And you go to yoga, Joe? I like you. I love yoga. I love anything meditation. Um, don't get, I don't do enough of it. That's probably why I want to do it a lot more. Here's sauna? just a wee promo of the, of the saunas, because the saunas... I need to get to the sauna. Have you been yet? No. That was, that was actually my first time there today. 
Never been to it before. What did you think? I uh, loved it. I, I thought it was class. I thought it was deadly. Like Rory Flan's big advocate. He I is a, never fuck week. about it. Like yeah. it's he's either he's either going to a Six Nations match. He's either going to an Ashes. He's either going. To, what does he do? He's either going to <laughs> like the rallies in Japan, or he's going to that on a Saturday morning or a Sunday. Sunday. You know? yeah. What about the the Neeson brothers? Have been to a few. Neeson times. brothers. Neeson been brothers. Shout out to the Neeson brothers. Um, uh, actually, Kieran, one of his first memories was getting his hand uh, burnt in a, a toaster. Uh, I so listened he, to it. He stuck his hand into a toaster. Uh, you mentioned that last week as well. Uh, I, um, so the saunas then, the <laughs> saunas are really. Tone, <laughs> 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 I thought that we was just... related to the sauna. I thought you were going like, no, to. Oh, don't, that don't back. put your hands near their. Oh, okay. It's just I, a life lesson. Yeah, don't, don't <laughs> listen put, up, kids. <laughs> don't, don't play with fire, like. But the uh, the saunas um, are lovely. Yeah. Two, are they two, uh, two big saunas? Are they good and hot? What's it? They're very hot. We we can we've had it. Bearing in mind at the start, we had no idea what we were doing. We've had it at like a hundred. Like, no way. Essentially, if you, if you sat in, <laughs> if you sat in that for two days, you would be slow cooked. Uh, <laughs> I literally <laughs> slow uh, We we have them normally sitting seventy five to eighty five. If like because the people that are in it have a bit of control over it too, they add water and stuff to it. Yeah. Um. So some people who are particularly hardcore <laughs> will bring it up to about ninety, but we don't like it going we'll any higher. We'll throw it on here. We can talk about it more. Yeah, so there's a wee bucket. There's a wee bucket pulled as well, and the bucket I've just seen that. falls on you. Oh, that was before the bucket. That doesn't. Oh, was it? Oh, can everybody just it. picture a bucket just there? Yeah. There. Oh yeah. On a big stream. Boom. Into oh, the nice water. day. Here it wasn't that. It wasn't that fresh today. Now it was. I think it was five or six degrees. Uh, that there was in January. Aye, lovely. And you warm. can fit a lot of people in that. You get we we 15? we do. Uh, you could do fifteen. We do twelve for. Um, like public bookings just because you don't want to be snuggling up to uh, a stranger yeah. someone's toes I mean maybe you do maybe that's a market we should explore uh, <laughs> cosy sauna sessions with strangers maybe, maybe. Um, very good the, uh, rugby, the rugby boys love it like if they win on a Saturday we, we put a sauna on for them on a Sunday if they, yes. lo- if they lose do no, they no they get nothing no <laughs> <laughs> in fairness to them a lot of the guys will book in um, like if they don't win they'll book in um, but if they win we'll, we'll give them a wee private session is it that cold? that was also in the January start of February You're sitting in around the 5 degree mark there it's 6 today when you were up who are these people? I'm not sure <laughs> looks like an over exaggeration <laughs> they're influencers Oh, oh right. that's Jay Love on the left there too. Ah, is it? Good. Yeah. Very good. Fuck, I didn't know some. It looks. He was wild cold there. <laughs> <laughs> so got over, over the top. <laughs> um, <laughs> fuck, is that my last thing? How long? Come Sorry, are we, are we? Are you still eating that Chinese? Says, I'm almost done. Look at you. I'm you have a touch yours. I'm very full. To be you honest. taking that home? Oh fuck! I've, oh, this bit's great. How long? <laughs> so I was. Uh, what was I looking up today? I was trying to find f- funny old news <laughs> stories from Marafelt area. Do you know what I stumbled upon? There's this old Facebook uh, group called Marafelt Memes. Right? Do you know memes? Some people call them memes. M M E M E S. I don't call them memes. I call them memes. All right. <laughs> and there's a group of Marafelt memes. Um, is it still active? It still is active because it, it, something came up the other day. And I wanted to go through them because I fucking is thought... Is this on Facebook or...? St- still on Facebook, aye. Just randomly crops up. There was... I'm rarely on Facebook. No, I don't have Facebook, but... You um... <laughs> 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 just manifested them today. <laughs> no, but I, I don't have Facebook, but they still, I'm still able to get access to it. Like. Oh, Agnes. Do you remember these? Yeah. Do you remember... No, like, just waiting on a mate. So he's just... Like, do you remember the Australian guy... He crashed his car and he's like, just waiting on a mate. <laughs> like, your, car. You, you, your car's wrecked. Just, just waiting on a mate. <laughs> just waiting on Agnews. That's fucking. I but your man, uh, Corner Cat, Jonty's, does Agnews ice cream. Aye, right? they got the special. Well, I, it is what it is. Like. It's, nice. it's not Agnews. It, it, you know, it, it's not Agnews. It's not Agnews, Agnews. You know, that's old school. Like, that's nostalgia. You can't really beat nostalgia. So the building itself, Agnews, was like. Uh, you know, I could you could turn that place into a museum. That's how I thought it was. Yeah. A, like it was one of them wee heartbeats of the community. You know, the burgers were lethal, the ice cream was lethal. You get a yarn with a person. You the could wee make cafe it a, and the jukebox. You could make it a tannin studio. Could, uh, <laughs> I probably I wouldn't. It, it, I think it. I think it is a tannin. I'd probably studio. bring uh, news back. I think it is a tannin studio, isn't it? Uh, well, 
<laughs> hey, there's some people going in and out of there. Do they? Madness. I was no, in, I have you been in it? I was in Lift. No, I have not. I was in Lift and a Pizza the other day. In uh, the Tannis Studio? A couple of weeks ago. Oh. No, but I parked, but it was facing facing the opposite direction. You know, you always face uh, the uh, other way. Yeah, and I was, yeah. there must have been 15 people came and went in about the 20 minutes Fuck I was there. Off. Honestly. I suppose you can do like a wee five minute uh, jaunt on it. I don't know so. how long you spent. I have a friend there who, who went to, I think maybe the one in workspace last week. Is it a male or a female? Male. Who, he, who was uh, it? Uh, can't, <laughs> can't, can't say. But he, he looked like a refresher suite when he came out, and he he, he did ten he did uh, ten minutes instead of like three to start off. This is his first time sitting. Uh, oh, go on, who is it? Refresher. Do like. we? Does anybody in this room know him? Aye. Do we all do know? We all know. Uh, I don't know how well, but you just probably do know him. I. He's met him before. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Bal- this is Bally Rona Marina. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Uh, before uh, Loch Ness turned green. Ugh. Um, <laughs> I say there's some actually. Can I just put a uh, what do you call it? A disclaimer on this. These aren't mine. Nothing to do with the podcast because there's some strange ones coming. Up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why are we showing um, them? What? Because <laughs> they're kind of funny. Uh, so meanwhile, have it is St Mary's <laughs> RE class. Well, I haven't done the edit yet. I could. Uh, ah, sorry. Let's see. Meanwhile, in the rainy PE changing rooms. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> no, I take offence to that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We, we I don't even know if I'm going to pop that up on the screen. Ah, I might. We'll see. We'll we see. Uh, we didn't have showers in our Jesus, where did you where did you boys do that then? <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> oh, dear. Meanwhile, upstairs in Bryson's. <laughs> I actually That's think pretty, that uh, might actually be Bryson's. Uh, I think that might be a photo. The class. Uh, got kicked out Challenge accepted He's ever, he's ever in that swimming pool I spent my life there uh, I, I, I was I was Did you ever work there? No No I worked I there. was at the, the Closure Right Between old leisure centre To new leisure centre mm-hmm. That was my time Did you shine. work in the new one? No I never did I actually I did there for I did reason. my I, No I, I was part of the swimming team and all uh, yeah, so That's I literally why I did spend my life there yeah. um, But they Like that That was an awesome pool And then they ruined it By Modernizing it, you should more. have just maybe given it a facelift or something. Stopping down the yellow slide and all. Ah, the blue slide wiped out. <sighs> Were you a good swimmer, my guy? I would have been at a time. I uh, enjoyed it better than uh, Tom Hughes. Would you? Would, would you be? Look, <laughs> I'm still the only person to win all five trophies in a year. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Whether or not Thomas was there that year <laughs> is completely irrelevant. But my name's in all five of them trophies. <laughs> Tom Hughes was a phenomenal swimmer. Was he? Phenomenal. Honestly, like without trying to come across as I'm in love with him, uh, the most beautiful person to watch in the water. Genuinely, like incredible swimmer. Incredible. I just can't imagine that. Like, no, I get that. But he, he's he's. A very good athlete. Like he was a great runner, and he was he's strong aye, as a bowl and stuff aye. as well. So like swimming, just a, another one on the list. One of those Farm. things. Yeah. yeah, but he he was it's him his sister as well, Lauren. Like she, she was a good swimmer, great right? swimmer. Yeah, great swimmer. them two just came through and wiped all the records and everything. Like great. Mom, please anywhere but Sparon. <laughs> <laughs> Can we play Gillick, sir? Sudden, you're off the rainy. <laughs> Jesus. John Murray special. Do you remember John Murray's? Oh, uh, yeah. There was What's a bar- mine. <laughs> there was a joke last week. It wasn't a joke, like, but mine. We were talking about barbers or something, and he goes, uh, "Do you hear John Murray's isn't cutting any longer?" I'm like, "No, I don't know nothing about John Murray's." And then he goes, "Ah, he's, he's cutting it shorter, lad." Like, <laughs> there was a John Murray's was just over there, and he used to. Did you? Were you ever in it? Get your hair cut? Oh, oh. Right. You, It was like one of the. It was like one of the like. Earliest opening barbers probably in Northern Ireland. I would say five a.m. You'd be sitting in there. John would be sitting smoking away. Ashtrays everywhere. All these boys just sitting before work, just sitting there having the crack, like to get their haircut. Old school barbers. Aye. There was a fellow used to just sit in the corner, never getting his haircut. Nah. Just went down for the bounce. Just had the crack. The like, newspaper all day. Just uh, hi, sitting with the newspaper. Uh-huh. You're right. Everybody got exactly the same cut. What do you want? We ask. Everybody, yeah. get, everybody come out with <laughs> God, John Murray special. <laughs> Do you know what it was? It was literally whatever the fuck he wanted. Uh, Do you know? Uh, can I get a... No fades. No wee mm. bottle of beer given to you. No fuck all, you know. Just... You bottle know, of beer? He, he wouldn't even ask you what you wanted. You get a bottle of beer in the barber? You, so, you can now, the old time. Where at? 
Uh, I haven't in a while, but you used to be able to get it in BT45 back in the day. Who is your barber? What um, Do you have a barber? I don't really... Copper, Copper & Co, probably, in, in Broad Street. I would, I would call them my barber, my proper barber. Like I, You do your own. Uh, Fergal, <laughs> Fer, Fer, Fergal shaves my head on my back for me, and my chet. No, <laughs> <laughs> no uh, Copper & Co, eh? Yeah. Broad Street. What about you, Fergal? I do it myself. Yeah, you do it yourself. <laughs> Where do you go? Where do you go? Uh, Kayla, Kayla B. Uh, Kayla used to work in the barbershop down Rainy Street. Left woman. there maybe five. Yeah, Pretty Kayla good. Woman. But she cuts from the house now for a few select individuals. Yeah. Albeit she, I don't know if she's given birth yet, but she's not far away. She's uh, not cutting hair any longer you're though. have to. Not cutting it any longer, John. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I went uh, to a Turkish boy in Money More and he gutted me. <laughs> Scrapped you like. Yeah. Well, my dad did the haircut before that. Uh, Whenever I got the operation done, uh, right at the very start he says I'm cutting your hair and I yep. wasn't in position to argue with anybody ever yeah. um, so he did and for six weeks I wore a hat uh, what did you get uh, operation my shoulder was it stabilisation surgery so I got the basically everything from like on the face of a clock two o'clock to ten o'clock mm-hmm. I got all that done ligaments wise tightened so he did three keyholes front and two Fuck. in the back um, but I was up with him there on Monday and he was really positive that it won't work that well and will probably need another operation. <laughs> so I wouldn't recommend it. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, very, and very how many positive. years were you waiting for that? I was on that waiting list, I think it was 14 years, all in. Um, now, in fairness, it wasn't their fault. I got to the top of the list just as I was about to start uni. Um, now, I mean, the surgery was meant to be on the 30th of August if I started on the 1st of September or whatever it was. Um, so I said to them, look, I can't do it now. And they, they give you the option then, you can go back to the bottom of the list and wait again. So I did that. That's why it took so long. Um, but in fairness, the Connor Mullen done my surgery and he is a proper legend. Like He is so good at what he does. We have to get it done again. I, it, not his fault. The, so whenever he... He did all the photos and all that stuff, and he said, look, this isn't going to be straightforward, but I'm not going to know exactly until I get in there. Yeah, yeah. And then whenever I come woke up out of it and all that, Connor was standing there sort of smiling, and he goes, well, that was fucking messy. And I went... It's nice to huh? <laughs> He's sitting with no arm. Yeah. So somewhere between the images um, that he had taken and actually going in for the surgery, I'd done more damage to it. Uh-huh. Now, I don't know when or how or where. Um, so potentially going to have to take bone from somewhere else or stick a plate into it or something but I'll not be I'll not be doing that Catch fuck. Yourself off. fuck how long was the surgery? Uh, I think I was only out for about three hours um, God, that's not enough uh, but I was in the sling I should only have been out of the sling just about now but uh, I lost interest in that a few weeks ago you know that wasn't happening do, do you have any rehab or anything to do? Or yeah anything? physio every day and then your own physio just your own physio every day and then I've been to the physio five times and then Teresa Hastings just lived next door to me so I've been to see Big T-Dog a few times too uh, she's brilliant she is brilliant very good mm-hmm. was it was it limiting over the 13-14 years like was it was there any limit to it you know obviously there's some limit to the range and all but uh, is there stuff you're like I just couldn't do that for those many years no so that was the bit that was the worst because I had no idea when my shoulder was going to pop out. Mm. So I was harnessing a fella in the Zorb ball one time at the jungle. Um, and there's two straps sit just across here and here. Pull one that way and the other one that way. And whenever I pulled this last one across, my shoulder came out. Now, I was normally able to get my shoulder back in by hitting it off something hard. Oh, my God. I was in an inflatable ball. <laughs> there's nowhere to hit. There's nothing to hit. <laughs> the kid was about 10. And I just went, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I've just finished harnessing him so he can go nowhere. So he's going. <laughs> His parents are both outside the ball, standing up in a viewing area, videoing, thinking, this is great. Scream at their child. Screaming. So I come flopping out of the ball like a salmon. And whenever I land on the balcony, it puts my shoulder back in. Jesus. But then because it was out so long in the pain, I start retching. Uh, <laughs> Jesus at this they stage be funny. <laughs> no, it's very funny. at this stage the kids funny. started crying Aye. mom and dad are going you'll be fine son don't worry about it and I'm lying on the ground going <laughs> <laughs> uh, lethal so I that was that was my experience I, oh my I, god you guys maybe don't know this have you ever seen this before Willie Paul, Willie Paul. oh yes do you know Willie Paul oh, uh, do you know Willie Paul 
Oh, uh, he's, um, he's a legend. Him and Hoot Nana used to be rivals. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Um, really? Hoot Nana, yeah. Hoot Nana's dead, isn't he? Oh, aye, aye, he died, aye. Aye, out Tumble do, Road. Do you know I seen him rowing with a, a lower, an upper sixth one time in some pats? So Hoot Nana obviously used to run around Mahara, and I remember one time um, Hoot just, uh, at lunchtime, the lower and upper sixth would be around the town, and Hoot would, like, you know, he'd be falling into cars, he'd be stopping cars, he'd be fucking blinding everybody off. And there was one time he came up to these, well, like a, a bigger sort of lad, like an, an upper sixth, and he absolutely fucking floored him. Like, <laughs> no way. Uh, yeah, but, 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 but he did who it hit more. Who? What's that? The student hit him? or uh, the student hit him, because like, oh. the student was, uh, was, it was more self-defense than anything. <laughs> so Hoot was like, obviously pissed off. He was drunk as fuck, like, but he was like coming at the student as if aggressively. The student just went like that. The fuck? And, the, and he was a big burly boy, the student. And Hoot just fucked. I actually remember watching Hoot like leaving the ground like leaving the floor <laughs> he'd actually take it like just take it up into the air and just land on the ground as the guy's seen the snatch like, oh shit <laughs> he, literally, he literally lay there like I fucked up I shouldn't have done that <laughs> anyway um, I do you remember do you remember this was in the Sunday world yeah um, you remember it too that's class you remember this so these, they were in the Sunday world someone reported them for for um, like I don't know. Do I don't know why they reported them. It was just them hanging around with Willie. Like who? Are, who are they? Willie who Paul. That's all the lads from Glenburn. Um, I'm not naming them just in case. But um, all the lads from their Marfelt area. So uh-huh. they they all got in bother um, with school. I remember Ross Ross Steele isn't in that. I don't think. But um, was Ross Steele a part of that crew? I was kind of. He part was of that the leader. Crew. He was the regular. <laughs> he was actually behind Willie there. No, but. Um, Th- those guys all I think they all got called in for school and, and got something they got a bit of bother because like, they showed up in the Sunday world years ago I put Willie Paul in the recovery position one time did you? Mm-hmm. did it work? Uh, well, he was what, did he re- what, what did he recover from? <laughs> I got all that <laughs> <laughs> thank you Michael thank you Michael I'm, cu- I'm cured <laughs> anyway sorry I was coming across a bad car park one day and he was laying fucked out, Aye. gone. Um, so I put him in the recovery position. But then I was like, if this man wakes up, he might attack me. So I rang the police and left. Yeah. I know that sounds awful, but no, I was no, a, like, no, I, I was a kid. Yeah. I completely you know? agree. No, like he, yeah. he might have attacked you. Like, like but he wasn't. He was a lovely fella. Aye. Like there was no badness in him. Well, I, I seen some <laughs> badness in him, but I can't even repeat it. Like really, I tell you later. Uh, meanwhile, I'm initiated. He used oh, to put fairy liquid in his drink, you know, to because the bubbles would get him drunk faster. There was worse than that. I'll tell you later. Um, <laughs> I'm top intrigued. 40 is that top 40 I mean my own really uh, yeah, that, that was top for the Gareth Brooks concert oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. here I, look I know there's a lot of people at home that love Gareth Brooks but I was never happier that he fucking didn't give a fuck about that thing. do you remember he pulled all his do you remember he pulled them all uh, and I if I like, can't do seven lethal. then I'm not doing it I was like lethal <laughs> couldn't give a fuck you know all them ones camping outside it because I remember seeing them in the mornings I was like Sick, like, it's not fucking Jesus showing Imperial up. Imperial Palace started charging for their toilet that day. <laughs> <laughs> that was the same year they started charging for the prawn crackers. No, that? they don't. In no, fairness to them. Oh, fair I'd not give them no hate. Um, I actually really like this one. Um, we will call him Willie. <laughs> 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 this is probably my favourite that I found. We will call him Willie Me. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought that was very good. Mini Pooper. Uh, mini we Mini... Oh, I didn't notice that, actually. Mini Pooper. And then Spearn GCSE results. <laughs> Seems legit. I thought that was quite funny. Because Spearn used to get shit, like, back in the day. Oh, they still do. Oh, aye, they do, like... Still, it's decent enough school, though, to be fair, but it was quite funny back in the day. Did you go to Spearn? No, I did not. <laughs> never never, never got in, he had to go to some biases. Fuck that. Huh? <laughs> never got in, had to go to some biases. Oh, never got back in the surprises, had to go to some pats. <laughs> did you? <laughs> I went to some pats uh, uh, after. Uh, Learned how to scrap. I really enjoyed some pats, like, uh, it was good. It was very, very good. Hey, lads, that's maybe the fucking end of this, to be honest with you. Um, what did we achieve this evening? <laughs> that's a good question. Um, I thought it was quite educational. <laughs> I, thought, I thought Splash got a wee bit of a touch. Food. We learnt Fergal's not good with food. Michael is. <laughs> Jude knows a bit about food too, which was good. What did we learn? Something's from North Africa or something? Like North that? Africa. We learned a bit about monkeys. Yep. Monkeys. What, what, <laughs> what is not a monkey? <laughs> <laughs> we learned I don't have a clue what monkey is. <laughs> <to be honest. laughs> we Jungle and rainforest. Jungles uh, and What is the difference between a jungle and rainforest? I don't think there is one. But is it just the weather conditions? I don't think there's any difference. No, I don't no. think there's any difference. <laughs> I, I don't know. 
I'm going to do some research. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, Michael, thank you for Thanks, pop, popping on again. No Great problem. to see you. We'll get you back again soon. I would like that. Um, what are we going to do next time? Maybe do the Mega Menu with you. We'll, we could we'll, do the Mega Menu. We'll bring it. We'll, we'll, we'll probably do Brilliant. your Mega Menu. Okay. Just because it'll be cheaper than all of us doing. You have no idea how much bone in food I can find. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll maybe wait. We'll maybe bring you well, on. I, I don't mind. I'll cook for you next time. Oh, that's you a good idea. Yeah. That'd be good. Yeah. What's your What's your apartment like? What's your house like? We'll uh, do a wee podcast there. Cold and expensive. <laughs> <laughs> no, and for you, my, my house as is long lovely. as we're not paying. My house is lovely. My house we'll bring a wee electric heater. Uh, sure. Would you home. host us? It's oh, yours. Of course, you will. Do that for the crack. That'll be some fucking crack. What, do you, what would you? As long as you know, one of you picks a starter and the end a dessert, and I'm uh, and John, I I took a drink in. Hold on. No, no, I want to use pick a starter main dessert and I'll cook it for you. Right, okay. That but everybody good. has to eat everybody's starter and everybody has to eat everybody's main. Right, that sounds fun. I'm happy with that. We'll do that. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Michael. I'm going to have Gino DeCampo in a handcuff side the back. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to let him cook? <laughs> <laughs> right, then I'm going to make dinner. Anyway. anyway. <laughs> um, anyway, plugs. Uh, Fergal, you have a bit of Brandon. Aye. I like a bit of Brandon. If anyone needs any... Design wild brand or like you see logos and branding, logos and wee bit of animation and shit. Like, you're do you do clothing? I would do. I'll chat to you. Do you wee bit of clothing now? Yes. Uh, I've got prices John, for you to compare to as well. I do. Class. I also do art commissions. If anybody wants to get in touch, we'll, we'll leave the wee link at the end. You'll yeah. be able to see all about that. Uh, Michael to plug Splash. Michael, do you want to plug Splash? <laughs> Come to Splash. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, don't, here, tell us this, what's happening right now in Splash. You know, this is going out probably Monday uh, next week. What's uh, the seasonal? What's so actually happening in Splash? Right from now? now until the last weekend in April, which is when we're opening, I will get progressively more and more and more stressed. Warnier. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> more and more and more stressed because this is just chaos. Uh, we have audits coming up for accreditation. Funny you should say that. We actually are the only gold standard RLSS um, accredited aqua park in Northern Ireland. Oh, tell us Thank more. Thank you for asking. Oh, the only one. Uh, yeah, more. of course we are. Of course we are. Uh, Do the other parks know that? Yeah, we put it on social media all ah, the time. Right, right. Um, yes, we are. That's too bad. <laughs> Tara for them, isn't Tara it? Tara for them. <laughs> um, yes, so we... The aqua park open in the end of April. We have two for one on... No, this is coming out af- after Easter. Monday it'll go it's out. It's coming out Monday. Easter Monday probably. So if you hear this on Monday or Tuesday, two hours for the price of one on all paddle boards and kayaks. Wow. Um, if your name's Fergal and you have your own podcast, then you get it for free. Yes. <laughs> can he bring someone? Uh, bring Jed. <laughs> yeah, yes he can. Yes he can. Can <laughs> you bring two people? Can you bring two people? Yeah, I'd love a photo of the three using a kayak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's two for one um, on all paddle boards, kayaks and the mega board as well and you can swap over halfway through if you're feeling crazy. Um, saunas are still going, brunch is going strong, um, Saturdays and Sundays 9 to 2. Um, How much is the sauna? Sauna is £12. Includes your access to the water and to the sauna for an hour. That's unreal. And if you are a member, it is six or seven. Fuck us. Can't remember. For nothing. Giving it away. Oh, for fuck's sake. Giving it away. You pay for the fuel too to get there, no? (laughs) I left you. (laughs) I left you. The saunas are great. We picked me up as well. The the saunas (laughs) are unreal. The saunas are so good. That's a great price. You know, take yourself up. Something a wee bit different. Yeah, bring a wee glass of Chardonnay. We yeah. should turn them off and we could do a podcast on it sometime. That's a really good idea. It's like we discussed that we should do that. <laughs> oh, why? <laughs> There's not enough space in it. Sorry, well, we don't know. Well, you were in it today. Do you think you could? Ah, uh, it's very tight. We'll soon see. We'll soon see. You could stand outside. Aye, I could stand out the, the window and knock. What's the point of being in a sauna if it's not switched on? You see, that's what I said. We'll light it just as it starts. He's not going to be able to cook for it in the sauna. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bring, <laughs> we'll bring, we'll bring the barbecue. Uh, we'll bring the barbecue. Aye, we'll get it sorted. We'll get it sorted. Um, no, very I f- good. I don't feel great after that, Chinese. No, I don't do I. Should have gone and told Bamboo. Should <laughs> if John wasn't such a prick in the should podcast, the, he wouldn't have closed. Should have went to Tangs, probably. Tangs? Um, would, have been ex- would have been more expensive. Oh, um, New Dynasty is supposed to be well there. Do you know, the only reason I used New Dynasty was they accepted card. And that was just and amazing. And therefore you get it delivered. Get it delivered to the house. <laughs> yeah. Card and delivery. I was Cash is king. You're talking about supporting local businesses. Stop I know. using your card. Cash Stop using king. your card. Aye, Go and left a hundred pound at the start of the week, and just start right. using start using cash. You're just right. I am. I am completely right. Cash 
Cash, anybody coming to Splash, we really appreciate the cash. <laughs> Like cash, like cash. <laughs> here, he's open a barber's there. What else did you open? A Chinese at the fish, stash. Uh, Tannum, start Tannum selling fish. Start selling. We fish. actually have fish too. One pound fish. We're halfway to being drug dealers. And I went to the barber one day. <laughs> one pound fish. One pound. Um, yes. Starts spend cash. Spend cash in every business. Yeah. Uh, cash only. Yeah. Card. Yeah. Cash only. Support our local businesses. Support Splash. Uh, here, Splash is a fucking mental place. To be fair, Splash. like you know. What sort, what sort of town has Splash so close? Like a place like Splash. And the jungle. It's, it's the, and the jungle, of course. In fairness, it's, that is all Bobby. Like but, that man just but it blows thinks my, different. It blows my mind that we have that so close to the town. Something like that. It's mm. absolutely ridiculous. It's crazy. You know, it's a sin to say it, and I didn't say it at the interview, but the first time I ever went through the doors of the jungle was uh, on my interview. I'd never been to it. And I live... Five minutes from it. Aye, aye. You know, it's crazy. It. I'd even been to like Todd's Leap and stuff. Mm-hmm. You just I never do. put a stuff in your on your doorstep. Yeah, you know? yeah. We have. Uh, I think we have a gold mine here, like a gold mine in terms of activity and like real great days out and great activities. Like. Well, that's that's his thought process. He wants to. He's sort of working on it. Um, start a hub called Adventure More. So based mm-hmm. around Money More and you know within like a ten mile radius mm-hmm. and including all the pubs and including the restaurants and including the activity place, you know, the go karting place up yeah, Money yeah. More. And we started getting it off the ground a bit during COVID and like we tagged Dormans yep. and said, you know, my favourite thing about Dormans is the salt and chili chicken. What's your favourite thing about somewhere else? And in fairness it, w- it went on for a wee bit, but yep. hasn't ever I suppose it's a lot more time and it's another business and it, there's a lot of moving parts Aye, there. It's kind of, it's, mm. a, it's a wee bit of a, like a touristy kind of thing too, That's isn't the idea. it? Like Carrick and Shannon, how many people go to there for stags and hen Aye. days? And Aye. there's Aye. not a pile in it. I completely agree though. We have a lot of stuff around here that, that would be amazing. Like, But we would need right. to get more people from over the border for Aye. stags and hens than we do local. Yeah. You should come back on the podcast sometime and chat about it all. I should. And, uh, and we could literally just chat about the business plan while you're here. And then just p- and then post it out, and then people could actually get a feel of what it could be. I don't bother. I'll get angry. I always get angry. No, don't be getting angry. Can we not talk about Chinese the next time? Don't be getting angry. Oh, what's, what's wrong with the Chinese? I love Chinese. Can we not talk oh, about Chinese? Crackers? Right, that's fair enough. What? No, not the the race. The food oh. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, lad. You're fucking rude, like. Wow. But I get you now. Um. Anyway, thank you so much to our two thousand listeners, or two thousand plus listeners a month. And that car that just drives things. And that, that car. Story. Fucking waste and fuel them. <laughs> What's the point of that? Like, I actually, uh, that's a grind. That's a gear to grind. Actually, right now, uh, cars doing that around Marafelt and like, uh, you know, I like Marafelt. Could you, you, port, could you, you the repeat point? that noise? Could you do that again? It's the sound of money going out the fucking exhaust. That's what it is. What's the point of that? Like, it's so stupid. Yeah, I only get thirty mile a gallon in my van. I, but it's, it just doesn't make sense. Anyway. Thank mm. you to our 2,000 plus listeners a month. Um, we all really, really appreciate you actually listening and still listening. We don't know why you are. Uh, make sure you subscribe, like, share all our stuff. Um, we are now both on uh, YouTube and Spotify. You get on TikTok. Aye, we do. We TikTok do. is so powerful. I know, I know. We need to get... So uh, powerful. We have so many. Aye, we have stuff to do. Like, I know we have to get there too. Well, we'll get there. Like we've I can't TikTok. But you're not on it. I, I splash is on it, but like I so no, I know it's good. Splash gets good views. Uh, views, do you know what I say? Oh, mad! I, like we're yeah. into the hundreds, the thousands. Yeah, we, we haven't yeah. touched that. We haven't. We haven't went on the TikTok. We know it's going to be good. That we will get on. Yeah, yeah. Promise, promise. You need to get yourself some lifeguards. They're really good at TikToks. Aye, they are. I've yeah. seen some of your social stuff. It's very, very good. Very good. Um, specifically lifeguards, not people under the age of twenty. Lifeguards are good at TikTok. Right, okay. Fact. Very good. Look it up. Very good. I don't On know. TikTok. I don't know. I honestly don't know what you're talking about. Um, but anyway, that's the end of the podcast, guys. Thank you so much for coming in, Michael. I don't know Thank what we learned, but we had we had <laughs> fun. <laughs> we had fun. We know the fucking cocktails. We know those cocktails just like absolute shit. Here, you say that, but you're going through it. You're like, you know the episode of Friends it? where Ross is like, he really doesn't like a drink, and then he's like, oh my God. <laughs> yes, exactly. We, we both said we don't like it. I'm, I'm, I'm struggling through it. Oh. I'm f- I actually had loads more questions, but I'm not doing them. Um, oh, don't be like that. Thank there. you so much, everybody. We'll probably cue the bore on there, and and um, we'll finish it up. And uh, yeah, look Sounds out for good. some TikTok soon, I suppose. Good luck. <laughs> Woo. Woo.